Does anybody have any antidotes? I, I could really use some antidotes. If anyone has any antidotes, I would really appreciate it if, if you sent them. Because... Because I have one fear now. I have I have one fear, and it's poison <laughs> in Final Fantasy One. Oh, oh no, no! Sadly, that bot did not have any. It's it's such a shame. It's such a shame. I really could have used some. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, just, just, oh, could have used some, but no, uh, alas, the, 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 the Twitter bots haven't, they haven't gotten that sophisticated. It's a shame, because, you know, I could really use, I could really use some help, but they, they haven't gotten, they haven't gotten that sophisticated, unfortunately. All right, let's see this. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, antidotes and bio. Here we go. So, last we left off, previously on Final Fantasy 1, we, uh, I wish I could, like, just scroll around on the map and zoom in. Oh, that doesn't appear to be how it, how it works. B or X is back, apparently. When last we left off, we cleared the infamous, I am now aware that it is infamous. Turn my headphones out a bit. We cleared uh, uh, what I am now aware of as being the infamous Marsh Cave. Many antidotes were purchased. Uh, I even left the cave once, even though... But, uh, I, I guess if you're just joining us today, I'll frame it this way. I'm playing the Pixel Remaster, where they let you turn off encounters, and I, I haven't been abusing turning off encounters too much. But even using it a little bit, I still had to leave the frickin' cave once. <laughs> grind for Gil and buy a shit ton of antidotes to get through that damn thing. So, um, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's how yesterday went. But we, we did it. Uh, we got the crown, which, uh, I didn't even know I needed because I ended up in the Marsh Cave before even discovering the Western Keep. Uh, I, I started over in Elfheim and, uh, I just started walking west you know, wherever my adventuring soul, my adventuring heart took me. And uh, we found a hole in the ground first. Turned out to be the Marsh Cave. And so uh, I cleared the Marsh Cave, got the crown. Didn't know what the crown was for. Had no idea. Uh, uh, left the Marsh Cave. Wandered further north than I think I meant to. And uh, found the Western Keep where we killed the Dark Elf King, I think. <laughs> I think that's what happened. And, uh, and now we have Matoya's Crystal Eye, so we need to venture back. So where where that blue dot is, we need to venture back all the way over here to Matoya's Cave. That's where we need to end up. And I'm trying to think, is this... Is it closer to go to the dock at Provoca? 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 Or should I just drop by Cornel Cornelia again, because Cornelia has its own dock? I don't know. I don't know what's faster. I'm not sure. Let me make let me make an adjustment on chat here so I can see you all better. There's another dock. Okay. I mean, I'm sure there's like docks on the outer ridge, but I don't know how to get out there. I appear to be, at the moment, I, I my belief. This is my belief, and don't tell me if I'm wrong. Don't I don't actually want this to explain. My belief uh, is that. Uh, I am landlocked. I'm stuck in this kind of central lake area. That's what I believe. We're going to explore and probably have some random encounters along the way, but but uh, I'm, I'm going to put that theory to the test. But yeah, we're going we're gonna to take a look. We're going to take a look. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good stuff. It's going to be good stuff. Yeah, in terms of, uh, in terms of tips and stuff, I'll, I, I, uh, if you weren't here yesterday, the way we're doing uh, tips uh, and... and and this, this is not necessarily a no backseating. It's just a no unsolicited backseating playthrough of Final Fantasy One. It's a no solicited or unsolicited, no unsolicited. I will solicit. I will ask specifically. I will say something to the effect of, "Okay, I actually want an answer to this." Chat, 
and then I will let my question be known. That I will let my question be known. Yes, yes. So other than that, um, feel free to have uh, open conversations about things like your your favorite compositions, your favorite weapons, and that that kind of stuff. That stuff is totally cool. On it's totally open. Have fun. Have a good time. Uh, shout out to our mods here today. I see Das. I see Car. I think I saw Luke go by. Thank you for your service, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming by. We had a, a, a great turnout yesterday. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see if it holds up, but uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if there's like two people left watching this. I'm beating this game this week. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to happen. I'm going to beat this, so help me God. So we're going we're gonna to make an assessment at the end of today's stream. Uh, I'm going to talk to you, the chat. I'm going to keep an eye on mod chat and see... If uh, if y'all think I need to stream tomorrow, or if you think I can I can finish it on Thursday, on a Thursday evening stream, which we usually do stream a little later on Thursday. So um, I've been what we did about four hours yesterday. We'll probably do about four hours today, um, and then we'll probably you know at least five hours probably on Thursday. So that's what I'm trying to gauge right now. Um, you know we're we're playing around with things like boosts and the run speed. You know we're doing a couple things to make things easier on ourselves. Uh, I, uh, the big thing I am 100% abusing because I'm totally fine with it. Uh, I haven't played that many retro RPGs, but I've played enough of them that I understand how the grind goes. We are using auto battle like crazy. Auto battle will be used. It will be abused. You will see it often because uh, grinding is a thing in this game, and we're gonna we're gonna grind that gear. But there's nothing saying that uh, we had to be slow about it. And we're not we're gonna we're, gonna, we're not gonna be because I like taking my time with other stuff like listening to the music, uh, making just the best observations on the internet about Final Fantasy that you have ever heard. You know, I like to take my time with that stuff. You know, none of this is sarcastic. It's all very serious. I'm the best Final Fantasy commentator. No one else has a deeper knowledge of a game series I've only played like two and a half entries of. <laughs> ah, Paper Moon, thanks for kicking us off with the first super chat of the stream uh, with a uh, Florida man shaking the hands of Marsh Caves. Thanks for helping me get through my last step for my Shadowbringers Relic for Gunbreaker. You are welcome, Paper Moon. Congratulations on getting your Shadowbringers Relic for Gunbreaker. Uh, Valeya, thank you for the antidote money. I'm clearly going to need it. Um, I did get, uh, what is it, Cura? We did get Cura for our White Mage. Um, but it is uh, a, a Poison, oh, Cura. It is a level three spell, which means I can only cast it four times if I never use Heal or Null Blaze. Um, so it runs out very fast. Although I do believe we made it out without burning too many antidotes. We're still we're still rocking a righteous pile of 29 antidotes. So yeah. Yeah. How far are we? We are about to head back to Matoya with the crystal eye. That's uh, we're gonna we're gonna go see Master Matoya. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. If you'll excuse me, you know, the, the really important step. I need to adjust my hair. So I actually didn't didn't look at it. I didn't look at it before I sat down. And I'm wearing headphones, which makes it do weird stuff sometimes. So. So, yeah. Where's my uh, early 2000s drive through Records fans? Here, uh, I got a new Finch shirt from the Finch concert last week. Behold. I love this print. I'm super into it. I'm super freaking into it. So, if all my early 2000s uh, drive through <laughs> Screamo fans uh, could... Uh, could make yourselves known. Uh, there are dozens of us still left in this world. And yeah. Yeah. Rengar, I love that answer. I love that answer to how far along we are. It's wonderful. Uh, some ragamuffin. Uh, thank you for the super. If you were to make an antidote cocktail, what would go in it? Uh, I feel like if it's named antidote, it has to taste medicinal. So it would probably start with... Uh, I'd probably start with gin, and there would definitely be... There would definitely be a little bit of absinthe in there, so you get the really dry, like herbaceous uh, or uh, fl fl floral notes of, of a gin, plus the, um, the extremely anise forward flavor of absinthe. Um, that that would be my my base, and then <sighs> probably go with lemon over lime. So if I'm doing lemon, gin, and absinthe, what am I what am I shaking up? I guess you could also go stirred. You could go stirred. Honestly, you could do worse than a Joy Division. A Joy Division kind of has a, it, it, in, in the most uh, complimentary way that I can put it, uh, a, a pretty medicinal, 
a pretty medicinal vibe to it, and that is a stirred cocktail. Everything comes out of a bottle. Yeah, oh god. Oh, I grabbed the wrong thing. I'm trying to move Bob's. Okay, there we go. There it is. There it is. Uh, not mint. Yeah, I don't know about, I don't know about mint. Um, you could garnish it with a mint leaf. You could, you'd find, like, a really big, giant, beautiful mint leaf. Uh, spank the shit out of it and, and put it in there. Uh, that actually, you know, mint with a Joy Division would not be bad. But yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably start with a Joy Division, which is a martini riff in the very first Arth Death & Co. book. Um, that uses a, a little bit of absinthe, but also Cointreau. Um, it's very good. It's very, very tasty. And then there's another martini variant in the most recent Death & Co. book called the Tiger Tanaka, which is like a tequila martini with green chartreuse and shiso leaf. And if you've never had shiso, it is very mint adjacent, but it's kind of like mint and basil fused if you've never been around a shiso leaf but they garnish it with a big beautiful shiso leaf and it is it, it brings so much aromatics uh so many aromatics to the to the party um so yeah you could you could do something like that that kind of gives you like an antidote thing uh otherwise yeah i don't know something green if i was doing something based on the marsh marsh caverns or marsh cave but yeah uh alicia thanks for the eight months uh, uh, yeah, we're doing, we're doing well. We're doing well. Uh, Kyle's doing well, uh, as well, you know, minus, uh, I'm assuming sleep. <laughs> I'm assuming he's, he's fine other than, other than a lack of sleep. Uh, Anatoly, thank you for the general super. Just got back from the chiropractor and ready for the chill FF1 stream. Nice. Uh, I, I have, I have had to attend a chiropractor more than once in my life. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, a thing I've... Like, I, don't, I, I, feel, I feel weird about admitting, like, on the internet, because, like, some people, like, are like, oh, it's a, it's a scam, but, like, uh, I don't know. And then there's, like, various levels of believing in, in chiropractic. Like, it's, it's helped me. It's helped me. But I also went to one where they locked me in a room and made me watch a video, and that was weird. But uh, I hope you're I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling adjusted. I hope you're feeling well-adjusted. But, yeah. Uh, and Sonic Rose, thanks for the soup said, uh, my mom was my co-pilot, or I was hers in JRPGs like this. We would actually voice act it ourselves. Fun and pointless uh, info. If you use the second NES controller, you could get a number slide puzzle. One through 100. Huh. Go figure. So, Sonic, you were doing what Kyle and I do, uh, but uh, with your mom back in the, I'm assuming, late 80s or 90s. That's freaking fantastic. <laughs> That is absolutely fantastic. I um, I think the only so Katie grew up an SNES kid. I was I was a Genesis. I I had an NES, and then I went to Genesis for for the 16-bit era. Um, I think SNES was Katie's first console. I, I you know I should ask her. I don't know if she ever had an NES or 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 maybe like an old Atari later around or something like that. Because at our age, Atari would have been already been older. Um, but. I think the only, um, I think the only uh, JRPG Katie has played is, Le is it Legend of Gaia? Is that what it's called? I tweeted about this recently. I think it's Legend of Gaia. Was it Gaia or was it like Return to Gaia or something? Yeah, Legend of Gaia. Okay, it was Legend of Gaia. Illusion of Gaia. Illusion of Gaia. There you go. Oh man, I remember all of seeing this box art. I have it, I have it up right now. Um, I remember seeing this box art every time I went to every time I went to Blockbuster I saw the illusion of Gaia art and I've just man I've got a thing I've got a thing for for this era of like logo like the highly illustrative logo let me pull this up for everybody so we, can, we have the power I love this kind of shit this is clearly s scanned in or they tried to recreate it because the, the box the Super Nintendo part of the box is high contrast but the art for Gaia isn't so I think someone tried to recreate this but oh, I love this shit it's part of the reason I like Blizzard games so much is they still haven't really other than Overwatch they still really haven't gotten away from this kind of style like highly illustrative like someone painted this this is probably an acrylic painting or something hell it might even be an oil painting you never know because we weren't we weren't really digital art wasn't there yet back then um and if I've already made two more thumbnails so, you know, we can, I forgot, uh, I already forgot because I was just, I was doing, here, I'll show you. You want a little show and tell? I had fun designing these today. So I have two more thumbnails in case this, I need to do two more streams. You may only end up seeing one of these publicly. But uh, 
I remembered that there was an NES box art for, for Final Fantasy, and I love it because it's clearly aping D&D, which, which I love. So you might see this if we stream tomorrow. I made this this morning. I forgot that they had the big, gorgeous, old-fashioned red logo if you were to go purchase this in the States. So this will be tomorrow's thumbnail if we stream tomorrow. Or honestly, I like this one so much, I might just use it for the final stream if we don't stream tomorrow. So that's tomorrow's... Uh, that's one of two thumbnails that might get used for the next two parts of the stream. And then this is the other one I made. And I, I'm kind of... Now I'm, now I'm just... Now I'm just... Uh, yeah, so these are... There you go, everybody. There's the thumbnails. Made these with my coffee this morning. Um, but damn, boy howdy do I like do I like the old Final Fantasy box art. Boy howdy do I really, really like it. It's some good stuff. It's some good stuff. Uh, have you seen the cover for the Nintendo Power Guide to FF1? No, but you better bet I'm going to Google it right now. Nintendo Power Guide to Final Fantasy. And I'm going to put a one in there for Google Posterity. What did it look like? That's my Legend of Gaia search. That's my Legend of Gaia. Oh, oh my word. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. I, they probably made a ton of these, right? This probably isn't that much on eBay. If I wanted to grab one of these and frame it. Look at this, y'all. Hot off the Google images. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so they're they're incorporating the, uh, the spot illustration of the floating castle from the original box art there, but it's usually shown in a crystal ball. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, look at that whiz biz. Kyle would be beside himself with joy right now. So, uh, I, wait, Kyle. Don't actually don't don't bother Kyle. But somebody wait, Kyle. Wait, Kyle. And let him know about this absolute. Gorgeous art. Yeah, that is a... That is a freaking place and time. My goodness. That's great. That is absolutely fantastic. Oh, I had a Nintendo... I think I had, like, an unbroken Nintendo Power subscription for about two years. Um, kind of around the heyday of um, Pokemon Red and Blue and, and Ocarina of Time. That, like, that, like 98, 99... You know, turn of the millennia heyday I, I had a really long unbroken streak of, of subbing to to Nintendo Power um, god I loved that shit I have an E3 stamped Pikachu card from the original set of Pokemon that was a a, a subscription bonus for subscribing to, to Nintendo Power I still have it somewhere around here I don't think they're worth a ton of money because they gave a lot of those out as a subscription bonus but I like it. It's still cool. It's still cool. Uh, Drasoini, thanks for the super set. Oh, man. Genesis RPGs takes me back to sitting down and playing Shining Force 2 and Fantasy Star 4. Super, super cool tactical and standard JRPGs. Yeah, I, they, they eluded me entirely. As we talked about yesterday, my only uh, childhood RPG really was, was Pokemon Red. And eventually I played Yellow, which is basically the same game um, with, with a few minor, a few minor tweaks. Yeah, I, I never played any turn-based RPGs growing up. It just wasn't my thing. I was kind of there for platforms, and I, I was a, uh, I was very into licensed games. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm, 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 I'm comfortable enough to admit it. I, I would get sucked in to, to like movie games. I had a lot of Disney games, a lot of Star Wars games. I remember, I remember my parents surprised me with a Sega 32X. If anyone remembers that thing, um, I didn't even know what it was at the time, but it came with, uh, it was like a box set. So it came with the, uh, the old Star Wars arcade game. It was like that, that vector 3d, uh, like really, really proto 3d graphics. I loved that game. I played the shit out of it. That was such a cool gift. Like I didn't even know the 32 X existed. I don't know how my parents even found out about it. Uh, I th I th knowing them, they probably didn't really know what it was either. They just saw Star Wars, and they were like, Garrett will love this. So, yeah. Yeah, I th somewhere at my parents' home is my Genesis, and last time we found it, it did work. The 32X is deader than a doornail, though. 
32x sadly does not work, and and that we probably tested the 32x like 15 years ago, and it was it was just completely toast. Um, but the the Genesis, once I got the 32x removed from it, the Genesis worked fine. So so somewhere somewhere at my par parents' place is a fully functioning Sega Genesis. Um, yeah. Your brother fixes Segas. Hot damn. Well, I wonder if the 32X is still lying around. Maybe your, your brother's handy with a 32X. Get it in the mail to him. But we got to find it first because I have no idea where it is. But yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I had, starting at 8-bit, I had one step every step of the way, um, usually two years late, like when the first price cut would hit. That's when I would, my parents would usually hook me up with a console for Christmas. So I had NES into Genesis in back to Nintendo for N64 and then I went to Sony for the first time for PS2 um, I remember playing a lot of Gundam games on the PS2 but I got Spy Hunter and Final Fantasy X was that, that was that Christmas it was a PS2 it was Spy Hunter and it was FF10 that was that was a good Christmas uh, and then I went to 360 and I moved in with a bunch of dudes for college and we had every console uh, we had like two copies of every console Except for PS3, I think only one of one of my roommates had a PS3 because we all kind of thought the PS3 sucked. <laughs> so when our one roommate bought one, we're like, we're good. One in the house is fine. We don't need our own PS3. Um, we were that was a big Wii and 360 household mostly. We didn't didn't, didn't do a whole lot on the PS3. Uh, Rock Oracle Super. What I'm hearing is a journey into JRPG history is in the future, starring Florida Man. Yeah, I mean, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I came out of the stream yesterday. Obviously, we went uh, we went past 5. Um, I, I usually like to stop the stream around 5 p.m. Eastern because uh, we like to walk the dogs um, and, and get outside and go for a little jog ourselves. Um, Katie had left without me, so I, I, I rushed out to go find her along the path that we walked the dogs. And she's like, how was it? How did, how did, how did it go? And I'm like, yo, it was it was great. And, 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 she, and she, she had some follow-up questions, so I think she could tell that I had a really good time yesterday. So yeah, I'm I'm totally down. I am absolutely down to play uh, to play more more retro games. One hundred percent. Let's see, Aladdin on Genesis. Yes, yes, I I beat that a bunch, which I have now found out that a lot of people consider it hard. I don't remember thinking that was particularly hard, and I wasn't very good at games. Like I, I still to this day don't think I've ever beaten Sonic Two. I know I beat Sonic and Knuckles a bunch. I don't think I ever beat Sonic Two. Um. I beat Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist a shit ton of times. That was like one of my favorite Genesis games. Uh, of course, I was very jealous that the SNES kids got the arcade game um, at home because I loved Turtles in Time. But that was an arcade-only game for me. Uh, Janessa said, I'm old. I had an Atari, the original model. You mean you're rad, J Janessa. You're rad because that's awesome. SNES Aladdin is the hard one. Genesis Aladdin is actually not that bad. Oh, okay. Is that what it is? Okay. All right. We should, uh, we're going to turn encounters on so that our journey, our exploration of the sea is authentic. So, um, yeah, we want to go to Matoya. So here's like, it look, we look landlocked. So I don't, I don't see where the closest place would be get Matoya, or to get back to Matoya. Ah, oh, we got some pirates! Spread out our bigger physical attackers. And then didn't we get an AoE? Yeah. Yeah, we did. And then we'll just let our white mage, you know, do white mage things. Just, just, just wrecking these, these poor buccaneers. Oh, it's gonna be a waste of Thundara. Yeah, these the Buccaneers probably uh, probably don't need to waste my spell slots on them. A little, a little o over leveled for this landlocked area of sea. By the way, I'm already humming music from this from this freaking game. Uh, Liminal Luminal, thanks for the nine months. So much nostalgia for DS era JRPGs. Uh, so many of them are generic and mediocre, and I love them. <laughs> and play any of them. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they are. I mean, might as well have a little fun here. Let's see. And then we'll uh, 
how about the black mage in case thunder doesn't well thunder should do a shit ton of damage oh oh and the, the shark is just gonna peace out look at that look at that sweet one damage they did to tuna the black or tuna the uh the warrior not the black mage we named our black mage joe cat at request of the stream Everybody clearly wants to relive the Endwalker finale where Jesse and Joe Cat. Okay, I mean, if you're gonna do this to me, I'm going. Alright, uh, yep. yep. This is what we're doing. I don't know. Just see where it goes. One. 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 Uh, 12, actually. <laughs> I love the defense on my warrior, it's fantastic. Will it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Black Mage is incredible. This is a problem because it's, it's, it's uh, reminding me how much I, I need and want to level my Black Mage in Final Fantasy XIV. What the shit? I was about to say, what are those um, What are those big eyes? And they are literally called big eyes. They are literally called big eyes. <sighs> yeah, Monk, Monk does uh, appear to be uh, busted. And, and you, like, don't need to buy them anything but armor. Like, I don't need to waste money on weapons or spells. Like, they're, they're so money efficient. It's bonkers. I can't imagine... I can't imagine doing this with uh, one more character that I really have to buy stuff for. Because shit's expensive. And that Marsh Cave, like, you've got to dump gift in the Marsh Cave to get through. It's It's rough. Yeah, Sovereign, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very excited that I have AoEs now. We're going to focus our main damage dealers on the big eyes. We're going to let our Black Mage do Black Mage things. And, uh, I don't know, it probably doesn't matter where we where we send our White Mage. White Mage is here, is just here for when things go poorly. That's why I've got a White Mage. Your flea didn't, didn't hit. So the big eyes are, uh, while they look scary, it's not a, not a big concern. The, the effects work is like, yeah, is it retro? Absolutely. But it, they look great. Like the little spell animations, they're doing a great job with it. Gin, 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 gin. Punch a shark. We'll save it for uh, a, a bigger group. So I feel like we can pretty quickly get through these guys. Right, we're gonna hit that auto battle button and let the speed up. If our black mage thunders again, then so be it. Oh, the sharks actually have some some freaking health. pretty close to some levels. Should probably top off our Black Mage. There we go. Uh, Metallic, thanks for Super. No idea if it still holds up, but I had a blast co-oping Disney's World of Illusion on Sega Genesis with my brother. I have never heard of that. Don't know what that is. Oh shit, that's a bridge. Can you go under the bridge? I guess we're going to find out. Don't, don't answer that. We're going we're gonna to find out quickly if uh, if uh, you can go under the bridge there you go shark down alright let's find out holy shit you can go under the bridge oh there is a dock here look at that that's adorable. So wait, I'm going to go back to, okay, because I'm here, I can't really even see it. But that's super convenient. All right, let's, uh, let's do a save. And I don't think we really need to worry about resting or anything. Like whatever hap, oh my, seriously? This is all you're gonna throw at me? Nice. <laughs> Wait, was this? This wasn't it, was it? Oh, it was. Okay. 
Oh, hey. You know what we didn't do yesterday? We didn't take a listen to Matoya's music in the original 8-bit version. Aw, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yep, that, that that is like unmistakably what I understand as as the Matoya theme. That's great. Ah, well, that's wonderful. That was delightful. All right. Oh, what's this? My crystal eye. Give it here. Don't worry. I have something to give you in exchange. Take this potion. It's the most amazing potion in my entire collection. You obtain Jolt Tonic. Like, Jolt, jolt Soda? Ah, I can see. I can see again. That, that, that's, that's the end of it? You're still here? I don't need you any, anymore. So be on your way. Hmm. I'm not as attractive as I thought you'd be. Jesus, Matoya! <laughs> Just... <laughs> so she's exactly like she is in Final Fantasy XIV. Matoya in fourteen is accurate to the OG Matoya. Hell yeah. Alright, so it's what? The... <sighs> View my notes. No, that's my Mr. Key list. Okay. I can cross off the crown because we gave the crown. Let's see. Uh, let's see. We gave crown to Dark Elf King. All right, so, so that's that's gone. That's done. We did that. Uh, got I slash gave Matoya. I'm keeping notes because uh, what's a what's a quest log? You would never have a quest log, right? Like that technology is just so far out. So we got the sleeping prince, and my assumption was. We needed to... Yesterday I said my assumption was we need to get the Crystal Eye, give it to Matoya, and hopefully Matoya will give us something that will wake up the Elf Prince. Which, maybe that's Jolt Potion and we're just going to electrocute the bastard to, to wake him up? I, I, I guess so. I guess so. So I'm... Uh, let's see. We I'm going to make another that just says, Got Jolt Potion. My, how are my notes? Are they... Are they are they are they stacking up? Judge my cursive. Enjoy. Uh, okay. All right. There it is. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. So we're gonna head back. Uh, all right. Effort. Dogs are mad about something. Fire Looks great. Great pixel effects work. Freaking fantastic. Joe Cat and Valor are about to level. Paul, thanks to the super. You told us Sass Queen, but Matoya is Empress. That is a good point. That is a, that's a good delineation. That's a good way to delineate it. A crazy horse. Okay. Spread out our attacks. And we'll double mage on that horse. And then we'll speed it up. It's really going to matter all that much. Empress, thanks for the, for the super. Uh, and yes... That is correct. The GG community is putting on a stage play this Friday. Uh, there's information in the Grinding Gear Discord. There's a link. There should be a link to the Grinding Gear Discord in the description below if you're not already a part of our Discord community. 
but yeah, head on over to the the free company house that we have on Curl. It's in Shirogane. Ward 26, Plot 49 starts at 5 p.m. Pacific. The play is called A Midsummer's uh, Midsummer Light's Dream. So go support the Grinding Gear Thespians. Do it. Do it now. Uh, I just, you know what? I'm going to play this like I play most things. Or I guess it'd be faster to get back in the boat because... Here we go. Let's get you back on your thunder cast and bowl. And, uh, I'll speed that up. Yeah, there, if you're not in our Discord, there's a, there's just a ton of info. If you want to stay up to date on like everything that's going on, the GG Discord, it's not only a great community, but it's a great place to keep up to speed with what's happening around these parts. Oh, Val missed! Ah, it's a shame. Got to level up. Health's getting low. I, my goal right now is to get back to where we started and take a rest. Just gonna auto battle this uh, because that's how I play games like this. Anytime I'm anywhere even remotely close to a town, I usually go back and just full heal, even though I know it's not that far across the sea to get back to Elfheim. But also, it's cheaper to rest. It's cheaper to rest in the starter town. Why am I talking like Bane? All right, here we go. Oh, right before the entrance. Die in a fire. Or I guess die from hits. You didn't die in a fire because the black mage didn't it, 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 it attack last. All right, let's uh, let's just get our get our rest on. Thirty gil per night, so reasonable. Not like those highway thieves in Elfheim. Jeez, it's like trying to find a hotel in Jacksonville when there's a bowl game going on. Uh, for those of you who aren't in Florida, it sucks getting a hotel in Jacksonville when there's a bowl game going on. That's 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 the context. That's the context. <sighs> you think the inn at Cornelia is a legit grinding strat? No worries there. <laughs> it does not surprise me. Look at look at look, man. Think about the st number go up. Really, really satisfying in this game. Thinking about where we started at level one, and now seeing just how much H HP across the board we have. I also seen those the, the MP go up on my casters every time we level, like, or I guess almost every time. I, is it every time? I think it's every time we level. <sighs> Always here for Jacksonville shade. <laughs> I want to like Jacksonville so much because, like, I have to go there sometimes. Like, sometimes there's something I just really want to go to in my own, and it's happening in Jacksonville, and so that's my only option. But every time I go to Jacksonville, some dumb shit happens, and I'm like, this, this, the city sucks. Like. There's always something wrong. Always something wrong when I go to Jacksonville. Every time. Every freaking time. It's like a... a <laughs> I'm going to just keep dropping shit. It's like a worse Miami. I do not like going to Miami. Jacksonville is worse. All the inconvenience of Miami with none of the cultural charm. None of it. <laughs> All of the suck of Miami without any of the culture. Yeah, that's that's my Jacksonville review. Just tell me Deadpool. Is, is Deadpool have a Jacksonville joke? I don't remember. I know Jack, Jacksonville's a butt of a lot of jokes in a lot of popular media, but I don't I don't remember. Uh, Tallahassee. Um, <laughs> my roast for Tallahassee is it's so uninteresting. I've never been there. I don't know why you would go to Tallahassee uh, unless uh, un unless you go to uh, a third tier institution like FSU. What, what, what? I'm a Florida Gator. What, what, what? Yeah. 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 We're, are, we sh are we doing Florida shade correct? Is this how you, is this how you Florida shade? Is this how you do it? Uh, go Gators. Go Gators, everybody. <laughs> I am enjoying FF1 so far. Uh, it is a good time. It is a good time. Ugh. It's some... 
with some solid stuff. The Good Place it has some t- top tier ones. Yeah, The Good Place has some delightful uh, Jacksonville gags. Uh, I also like the opening of Ash vs. the Evil Dead. That has a great Jacksonville joke. Uh, if you haven't watched the uh, the Evil Dead sequel series that was on Stars, uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, the, the 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 super deep joke here is that Kyle is not here to defend uh, his his college because <laughs> Kyle went to FSU. <laughs> so, I don't actually, I don't actually, uh, I don't actually care that much. I'm not, I'm not that into the uh, the college rivalry. I will, I will happily root for the Gators, um, but. It's, it's fine. It's all good. Uh, Aaron, thanks for the super. Said you're playing through FF2 while watching you experience the OG Final Fantasy. Enjoy the origins of the franchise. I am. Uh, it's been absolutely wonderful. Uh, we're just going to queue a bunch of attacks and uh, auto battle this. It's been absolutely wonderful. I, I love hearing, uh, particularly the music has been a lot of fun. But like right off the bat, just the references that clearly were uh, brought forward into shit like Shadowbringers with how much they mentioned Four Years of Light and all that stuff. Uh, I'm loving it. A lot of, a lot of, hey! Hey, I understand that reference in the past going on. It's, it's, it's been a good time. I've been enjoying it. Oh no, I want to go to the castle. Is what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Did you say boo go gators? Like... <laughs> Was the, was the boo for... Okay, where the hell... This castle... I have notes about the layout of this castle. There we go. Alright, so do I talk to you or do I talk to the sleeping prince? This jolt tonic may be just what we need to break the curse and awaken the prince. I will try it at once. Well, there we go. Your Highness. Your Highness. I was having a terrible nightmare. Am I still dreaming? You, you're the legendary warriors. Something tells me I'm not dreaming. I shall heed the legend as it was told to me and my forefathers. The time for me to pass on the mystic key to its rightful owners has come at last. Holy shit! It's time! Mystic key time, yes. Freaking let's go. All right, that's it. All right, thanks to you. The fence, fence is finally awoken. All right, brought peace back. I'm awake and strong again, all because of you. Thank you, Warriors of Light. Frick, yes. All the loot. Oh no, that means we got to go back into Marsh Cave. <laughs> it's a good thing I still have a bunch of antidotes. All right, I'm going to mark potion as complete. And then we got. Mystic key. And then uh, I'm going to make a note here of returned. Return to Marsh Cave. Because that's what's happening next. We are going to go get some friggin' loot. That's what we're going to do. Pray return. All right, uh, Marsh Cave is due west. But you have to cut a path. We'll just, uh, it's fine. We're just gonna auto battle our way through these wolves. I do have a loot, but I don't know what to do with it. Apparently the loot is not used to wake the prince up, uh, no matter how much I wanted to smack him with it. You can never be rid of the Marsh Cave, Callow. You can never be rid of it. Appreciate the super. Uh, let's see. We want to... Nope. That's a trap. Oh! We got some gigas! Uh, let's just do the thing. I think we're high enough for this. Especially if one of them flees. Oh, oh the ogre got hands. Oh, oh and it's gone. Shrek's dead, everybody. Shrek's dead. Back to the swamp for Shrek. Go find Donkey. Go have some waffles. Go have relations with a dragon. But donkey, not Shrek. Oh, 
This is a nice little background. I don't think we've seen this one yet. Got a, got a swamp biome going on. I really like the pixel art in this game. It's great. I have gone and looked at what it looked like as an NES game. They did, they've done a really good job updating it without com like completely losing the charm. How are we doing? Uh, we don't need to pass out any heals yet. Nah. Nah, we'll be all right. All right, so... I don't think... Okay, I'm going to cheat for a second because I just want to double check. I don't think there was Jack in here. I didn't leave myself a note, which I, I think I'm right, but I don't trust myself enough. I just want to double check. I'm pretty sure there wasn't shit in here. But I didn't already loot. Yeah, okay. All right. That's why I didn't make a note. I need to make notes even if it's nothing of note. I need to make a note of, like, you cleared this. Don't worry about it anymore. That's what I need to make a note of. Okay. All right. To be semi-fair, we go back to this point. Encounters are now on. We're going back to walk speed. Uh, because... And we need to go down there. All right. All right. What, it's not the Marsh Cave without the danger of consistent suffer. Oh, oh, shadow. Okay, we're just going to auto do some attacks here. These shadows, these shadow guys are they're nothing. Child's playthings. We're so cool with the sunglasses. I love the sunglasses. Just ridiculous. Cave was brutal on NES. It gives me, um... Is it Mount Moon in Pokemon Red? I remember dying in there multiple times, like my first time through, just not knowing where the hell to go. We are going to uh, chain flee if we see slimes, though, because slimes can 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 eat it. I know you can set run, um, but I've I've I don't like it in dangerous places because I end up taking extra steps and getting into additional random encounters that I don't need to get into. And so, OK, this is oh, this is the in between room. I want to go bottom right, but not far right, because that's a trap, because that's blocked. I'm going to go down here, I believe. Slimes, Jesus. Spam the flea! Flea spam! Make like the red hot chili peppers and spam flea. Could just turn off encounters, yes, but what's the, what's the point? It's not marsh. It's not marsh cave. If I don't have to, if I don't have to like run away from things that will poison me to death, I'm having the experience I want to have. This is the experience I want to have. I want it to be mostly authentic, except when it's drastically slowing down the the I would call it the smoothness of the stream. But this is the Marsh Cave experience, okay? We're, we're here for the authentic Marsh Cave experience. Which is... Spamming Flea every time I see slimes. Because slimes are... The most dangerous enemy in this entire game. There's clearly nothing... More dangerous. Nothing at all. Also, you know, I'll take some Gillen XP. Why not? To commemorate your vanilla chili peppers joke, here's some money. <laughs> Thank you, Woody. Uh, we could just spam some attacks on the gargoyles. They're not, they're not that bad. Although they do hit hard. I always forget that. About. Always. I've been playing this game for a day. Listen to me making general statements like I know what I'm talking about. Uh, we should probably pass out a heal on. Uh... Let me do it again. That's fine. You don't... How many hit points do you really need on your monk? Ooh, what the butts? Okay. What are you? Okay, hold on. Since clearly... This is going to be a fight. 
Let's get our monk all the way up. That does not look like the face of it. Oh, more Psycho Demons. Okay. Okay. I can F with a Psycho Demon. Magic. Uh, let's go ahead and temper our monk. And then let's go ahead and invis our Black Mage. Ah! I hate it when temper doesn't hit before the first monk swing. Oh, jeez, they are... They're doing some... It's a good thing we, we double-healed the monk. All right. All right. So we're going to focus these. You could probably one-shot now with temper. Let's... Try and finish off one of these little guys. Oh! Landed the hit! Oh, no. Oh no! My carry's down. I probably should have healed the. Probably should have healed the the monk. All right. Let's see if we can get back through this. Let's just. Uh... What's everyone doing on health? Actually, we're getting low. Oh, heal is AOE. Mm, this is a bigger heal. Let's make sure our black mage doesn't die. Their, uh, their initiative rolls are solid. Okay, thank God. All right, I think we're going to be able to... I think we're going to be able to pull this one out, everybody. No. Oh, you bastard. Oh. You know, I haven't even uh, attempted a Phoenix down in combat. I don't know. I don't know if they work. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to, uh, where's my quick save? We're going to, we're going to, we're going to play this like I would play an RPG. Because I wasn't happy with how that went. I'm going to see if this goes better. I'm going to see if this goes better. Let's see. Let's go ahead and top off the monk. Go ahead and use a potion on the black mage, and then we'll head in. Open with an AOE. Alright, there rolls. Oh. Nice. Ah! Okay. So they, they appear to, to have the fish weakness, even though I just assumed that they were some, like, weird type of demon and had nothing to do with the water. Okay. That went a lot better. We're going to go ahead and quick save. More monsters. A double helping of monsters. Oh, it's Anaconda time. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and temper our monk again. Just, you know, tried and true. And the kind of don't. Nice! It landed before the monk went in. Okay. I'll grab you. 
the snakes, I don't think it matters. I don't think they're susceptible to any particular type of magic. Man, landing hits on the Black Mage. It is it is tough. At least they they don't appear to be able to poison things, even though they are green. I I don't think of an anaconda as a as a venomous snake, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't put it past this game just because they're freaking green. I don't remember who's the lowest health anymore. And then you're going to AOE heal. Nice. Nice. All right. All right, that is okay. That is okay. Does FF1 have rows? I'm, I don't understand the question, but other people are saying no. What is this? Items. Silver armlet? Who's this an upgrade for? What, is, what does it do? It doesn't tell me the stats. Oh, is, is it upgrade for the for the monk? Apparently it's quite the upgrade, but wait. Hold up. Let's see. Evasion's at 21, defense is at 8. Huh. And I see you all saying armor for mages, but it appears to also be a pretty sizable upgrade for, for Mr. Monk here. Keep that monk's chest uncovered. <laughs> okay, let's go back to leather for a second and see what's going on over here. Because if I do optimal, it also gives our mage. What's the actual... So evasion stays virtually identical and defense goes way up. So it seems like it's a larger upgrade overall for the... Well, I guess we're kind of splitting hairs on the defense. I, I, the monk seems to be fine surviving. I'm going to, I'm going to put it on my black mage because he is, he does get smacked every once in a while. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Okay. All right. I'm going to cross off that grid on my hand-drawn grid yesterday because we got that one. All right, we got two more that we can get into. What are we doing on health at the end of all that? Let's, uh, again, kind of make the numbers go up on the Black Mage there. Seven, thanks for the Jammer Super. Oh, you VOD squatted yesterday? Uh, to your grandfather. <laughs> thanks, Sevens. I'm, I miss uh, Grampy Art. What he went by. Miss him all the time. The great dude. I don't think I've tried Blizzard yet. Let's see what the... Uh, what the effect looks like. Oh, nice. Well, ice crystals. I don't know. This should probably go there. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. No, no shenanigans. I don't trust anything at this point. I'm waiting. I'm gonna get Elden Ring ported somewhere. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I couldn't trust you bastards. All right. Well, now we know the secret. How's everyone's health? We, we could uh, go with a little AOE action again. That's a decent initiative rolls. Yes, yes, yes. Pandara. Some good shit. We do have some ether too, so 
All that for an antidote? Is this game trolling me? You can't come back here until you're done with Marsh Caves and it gives you an antidote? What the shit, Final Fantasy 1? What the shit? What a, what a trolling piece of crap. Also, like, why? Why would I go in this room? I'm going to, but why would I go in this room? I'm going to do it because I'm curious. Don't hit my white mage. That's so rude. Yeah, hit my warrior. He's defensed out the ass. <laughs> Thanks, Daykoth. Have a good one. Uh, let's see. Health got low on monk. So let's, let's just pop a potion and call it good. Nope. Good day, sir. All right. Can I interact with these things? Or is this just here to be weird? This is just here to be weird. Okay. Old FF games do kind of troll. I, I have uh, gotten that, imp that, that impression. Monk just getting smacked the F around. I trust none of these chests. And we're poisoned. And we're poisoned again. There we go. Time for a single poison po potion? God, I hope so. I would be so happy about that. Use the one antidote. We did! So technically worth. To the surprise of no one. Seventy-three. Or you're doing work. Monk doing work. Not the best uh, initiative roll on the black mage there. But we got through. We got through. Bunch of level ups. Nice. 1,020 gil. I will take it. All right. And that's, that's Marsh Cave clear. The note has been made. Buy antidotes with that. <laughs> All right. For my sanity, we are just going to exit now. We are simply going to exit. Let's be a black mage for a little bit. I love this sprite. It's so jaunty. Why would you do that? Return to Marsh Cave complete. All right. Uh, so, what's next? 
I got the Mystic Key. Oh, Western Keep. Western Keep had a key. Go for it. Do your thing. Shrek's got some hit points. Get Shreked. So I know, I know this place had Mystic Key Rooms, but also, oh my God. Um, you know, we're just gonna auto battle this. Um, the, what was the first place? The, the Chaos Shrine. The Chaos Shrine had Mystic Key locked doors. Y'all in your chaos. Y'all are so chaotic. Why y'all so chaotic? This is where we fought the king. And the locked room was here. Holy shit. Okay, this seems like a trap. Hold on. How's everyone's health? Called it. Wraiths. This is so. This is so beneath me. Oh shit. <laughs> Out of um. I don't think anything is special against undead. You have here. Yeah, this is what. We, this is what I want. Oh no, we're paralyzed. All right, we got D off. Hell yeah. D not bringing enough damage. Poor monk is paralyzed. Oh no, so no, so is my warrior. This should finish them off. Chests contain Falcon. What the hell is Falcon? Oh, it's a sword. Sword that widens toward its hip. Is it an upgrade over the broadsword? I guess I could just go to optimal. It is apparently better. I think Aladdin? Okay. 2330 and broadsword is 2330. Wait, so is there, there appears to be no discernible difference? Is, that, I don't think, is there, am I, am I reading this right? There's no difference? Red mage can use it? Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I'm gonna stick with my broadsword then. All right, uh, Tuna, looking a little worse for wear there. My mage on, I only got one MP left on the level one spell, so. Well, what we're gonna be using a bit is the big heal. Here we go. Might as well use it, right? Got it. Okay. We'll go for that too. Screw it. We're gonna head back to head back to town soon, anyway. I'm noticing a pattern. Mummies. Spooky. Oh, I wanted you to do that. Hmm. I'm no, just gonna overpower the monk. 
No, don't hit my white mage. White mage is it's a get hit again. He's done for. Four hits, only 40, jeez. Shit. Here goes my white mage. Why are you glowing red? I don't like that. No, I'm just gonna... Probably should open with... Yep, let's do that. Eight hits, nice. Crap. Ah! Asleep. Is this the first time someone has fallen asleep? Power staff, nice. Uh, all right. <laughs> pose, the pose of Val the White Mage just taking a face nap is delightful. It is absolutely delightful. Rock Oracle Super, you look inside the Super Chat. Monsters! Yeah, floor tank in here. I, I, we haven't ripped a Phoenix down yet, so let's just rip it. Just gonna burn some potions. All of them. What's the point of items if you're not gonna use them? Oh, also we got the power staff, so... Is the power what is the power staff? Just a just full on upgrade. Full on upgrade. Alright. Let's rock. Would you have guessed monsters? Would you have guessed? Some blind them again. And, oh, crap. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go ahead and protect Val because they appear to enjoy attacking the white mage. Oh, missed all of them? Can you not blind undead? Yeah, maybe I should use an ether. I have a whopping one ether. Well, honestly, at this point, at this point, D is not going to get much done. Already feeling like we really need to uh, get that higher, uh, whatever the higher spell level D of, uh, re not a re replacement is the wrong terminology, but you know what I mean. I should do it for bottom mummy. Nice. All right, cool. Now we claim our Ooh, steel gloves. That sounds like something for tuna. Evasion goes down, but defense goes up. I'll take it. Does the game agree? Really wants to have Falcon. No. No. Tuna... Tuna wheels a broadsword. That's how this works. Okay. Let's go ahead and... And that was it, right? I think that was all, all she wrote in terms of hidden rooms in here. Yeah. All right. Let's go through Elfheim, heal up. Oh, right. Let's go ahead and let this uh, auto 
Auto go. Just don't really know what to do next short of abusing my Mr. Key. We know there's dwarves to the west, but I don't think I can sail to the west. Please don't kill my monk, you bastards. Oh, I am like fumes oh, again the ether, but we didn't we didn't use the ether. No, I didn't. I'm being stingy. We can make it. We can make it. Yeah. I learned no lessons this day. I'm vindicated. Or being a cheap ass. You can look at the world map and see if you got all the chests from each key location. Oh, really? Oh, I guess I can't see the world map right now. That's black magic. Let's double check the stores before I move on. How are we doing on Gil? I'm assuming we've amassed quite a bit. Yeah, holy shit. Find anything to your liking. All right, we got... All right, so we got everything except Diara. Oh, so we we avoided this. Um, well, butts, because I kind of want that now. Because Dia doesn't seem to be cutting it. You just wait until the level three? But this is level three. It's this level three right there. Forget no blaze. Yeah. Uh, Dia is already AOE. I believe. That's how we've been using it. Dia deals damage to all undead enemies. It just doesn't do a lot of damage. They're they're both AOE. Oh, you mean the third variant? Okay, you know, you know, I can always come back here if I if I regret it. I can always come back if I regret it. What did we do on Black Mage? Are we maxed out on level three spells? We are. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go bankrupt. Let's go to the level four stores. All right, what am I missing? Let's let's max out before we move on. All right, the only thing I bought was Poisana. I don't see any reason for Null Frost yet. This is ice damage. Cure Silence. That feels like I'm going to want to have that when Silence comes on board. Drives away all enemies in terror. Is that like a f you force the enemies to flee? Is that what fear does? I'm going to buy Vox out of fear. I think I'm just going to wait on the other two. I don't like some like the game hasn't made me feel like I need them. Find anything to your liking. Uh, let's see here. The only thing I picked up was haste. That's right. That's one enemy to sleep. Causes enemies to turn on each other. And then ice AoE. We're going to get these two. Confused sounds so cool to me. And I would love an ice elemental AoE. More AoEs, please. More AoEs are good. All right, and that's pretty much it. I think we, we bought all of the gear, although we could also sell some gear, so let's let's hawk off the shit we don't need. Oh, we should also buy some potions. All right, sell. Antidotes will keep hammer. There we go, leather gloves, see ya. Is the copper armlet an upgrade for the monk who can also wear armlets? Yes, it is. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we don't need that. And, uh, need the leather armor. You can get out of here. Bye. 
Yeah, that appears to be everything. Everyone's all hale and hearty. Yeah, let's let's do it. The issue is that Val can't use Vox on himself. What's Vox again? Cure silence. Oh, that's a, uh, well. That would make sense if you're silenced. You wouldn't be able to self cast, and then if you aren't silenced, you wouldn't want to cast it on yourself because what would be the point? Right. Oh, I didn't buy any potions. No, I didn't. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we should get some, uh, some Healy boys. Nope. 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 Yes. 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 Again, like, yeah, okay, you're more... You, you heal more in a single go, but you're more cost efficient. Because three of these equals one high potion and at a guild discount. So, we're just gonna, you know, stock 20 potions and move on. Oh, high potions are for in the bat. Oh, you know, I didn't think about that gamification of it. That's a good point. sake. I always do that. No, I would like to leave Elfheim. And then what is this folks were saying about keys? It's like, where's Chaos Shrine? Oh, it just says chests. Okay. Uh, Provoka has no chests. Elven Castle has chests? Oh, that's right! That's right. I forgot about that. Map is handy, yo. Turns out game was well designed. This this was the issue with trying to circumnavigate this castle is like if you walk one pixel off the edge it's like you want to you want to leave the castle you wanted to leave the castle right all right just in case mithril hammer 800 gill 700 gill bronze gloves mithril hammer hmm is that like better for you no mithril hammer okay what was the actual upgrade on that? Oh yeah, yeah, accuracy. Accuracy up, hell yeah. So you got the Mithril Hammer. Can you use the staff now? Yes, you can. Nice. Okay, and then what else did we get? Bronze gloves. Gloves made of bronze, jeez, I hate that. I wish it, like just show me The steel appears to be better. Yeah, okay, so the bronze gloves are just... It's more gill. That's all that is. That's all that is. Which is fine. Was there a locked treasure room in the main castle, too, back in Cornelia? Let's see here. Castle Cornelia. Uh, okay, six chests. Okay, and then Chaos Shrine has 10 chests we haven't seen. Provoka, okay, 4, 4, 3, 3, 18, 18, okay. All right. Did I rest? I did not. Wait, did I rest? What am I supposed to do? I don't think I did, but I don't think I need to. We're fine. Moving on. Oh, no, boat's over here. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Is 
seeing notifications. Is it a mod? No, it isn't. Okay, everything appears to be... Appears to be perfectly fine. Perfectly, perfectly fine. All right. All right, let's uh, head back to... Let's see, Cornelia's right there, right? Yeah, so we just, like, basically head north. Get attacked by some fishmen. And move on with our lives. Yeah, the battle music is absolutely your one. Bye bye. Okay. I want to go. You give me tips, right? You can get into. Okay, yeah, she gives good tips. Reminds me about the about the key. Over in Cornelia. So where's the treasure rooms? Okay, they're back there, and that was where I had to, like, circumnavigate the outer edge. Look at that booty wiggle. <laughs> Here we go. Just in case, I have trust issues after Marsh Cave. Got a cottage. They fit a whole cottage in that chest. Saber. Mithril knife. Tent. That makes a lot more sense. Iron armor. What the hell is nitro powder? That seems important. Returned. To... Uh, Cornelia got nitro powder. Okay. All right. You know, just making explosives in medieval times. How army of darkness of you. Okay, that appears to be a key item. A powder of great explosive power. We still have the crown, apparently. No idea what to do with the loot. Yes, I am, in fact, writing notes. Get that NOS. I got that. I got that NOS. Okay. Let's uh, heal up and then return to the Chaos Shrine and see what's next. Also, see what Dancer Lady has to say, for, say to us. Let's uh, give ourselves a take, take, give ourselves a nap. Obsessively heal, like I'm playing Pokemon. Yeah. No, you're not the person I want to talk to. What what tip do you have for me, dancing girl? Neric the dwarf has been looking for powerful explosives. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, uh, let's see. Find Merrick, the Lolly Hoen Dwarf. I'm gonna be so disappointed if they don't yell Lolly Ho. Uh, okay, so didn't give us a tip about Chaos Shrine, but I'm going to Chaos Shrine. We're going to Chaos. We're going to Chaos Shrine. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're going to do, because Chaos Shrine is north. Okay. Oh, God. Y'all sure you want to do this? My white mage can one-shot you. That's how pathetic you are. Actually, I should probably go through the new items that I got. Quip. Optimal. Oh, iron is better than steel armor. Okay. 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 Gotta hawk some stuff off, but we can do that later. Black Mage got a new knife. Well, I used um, Optimize. 
we can we can go deeper though. So this is attack fifteen accurate. Wait, attack plus twelve, and that's attack plus seven. But ac so accuracy goes way up, but attack goes down. But wait, that's just normal dagger. What's let's see. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, this is just this is just a win 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 win. Well, it actually, it's slightly less attack, but we want the accuracy because we want our we want our spells to land. Really? <laughs> Adorable. I just, uh, that was apparently my 500th monster kill, according to Steam. That goblin's going to do it. All right. Uh, there's a lot of shit in here, as, as, if I remember. I think these side rooms, we couldn't do shit about. This is why I don't run when I'm in dungeons, because I take an extra step and then I get an extra random encounter that I didn't want. One damage to everybody. Remember how spooky this place was yesterday? Oh no, we did loot this. Okay. That was where we fought the boss. That room we couldn't loot. Okay, we looted top left. We need to go top right and bottom right. So right side. We needed... How are there 10 more chests in here? How are there 10 more chests in here? I'm seeing those smiles. I'm reading into those smiles, by the way. I'm reading into every one of your adorable little smiles. So I'm like, oh, I bet I bet the game comes full circle and this is where the final boss is and it opens up and it's a much deeper dungeon or higher dungeon. Maybe turns into a tower a la Ganon in Ocarina of Time. The Rune Blade. That sounds dope, actually. What the shit are you? Rune Blade. Who can equip that? Attack and accuracy goes up. Yeah, Rune Blade's an upgrade. Okay. All right. And thus retires the broadsword. My smile is adorable. I would never lie to you. I would never. Down they go. Jesus. Wah. I love this about... I was going to say RPGs. Games that don't have... That don't scale the enemies. I love feeling powerful when I go back through old zones. I absolutely love it. It is, to me, something that, like, an RPG needs. It, it, I hate I hate scaling. I absolutely hate scaling. I love this kind of shit. Like, you're walking through and you're just like, ha, 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 peasants just batting them out of the way. Like, this is great. Like, it makes you feel powerful, especially in the game when you do... When you do backtrack, like I feel like a god right now, and that's a fun little piece of uh, power fantasy. And also, it's slotting in at a nice time because I'm sure when we go find the dwarf, shit's gonna be hard again. So this is fun because I'm like, <laughs> look at me, and then I'm gonna get humbled immediately. What the fuck is a werebuster? It's a sword. Oh, that's effective against beasts. Boo! Oh, I don't like overly specific weapons. Gold Needle. We've seen that for sale. That cures something. Stone. Okay. It busts wares. Busting makes me feel good. Didn't check the stats. Yeah, but that's that's because when my brain goes, oh, that's no good. I don't I don't like it. I don't like I don't like when you're. Let's see. Are you an upgrade? Watch it be an upgrade. Y'all gonna laugh at me. It is it is not an upgrade. Okay. Bustin', bustin', bustin'. <laughs> oh, it's oh, it's the same as Rune Blade, so then the I guess you would say the uh what's the word I'm looking for? The upside of it being better against beasts. <sighs> Am I you're gonna make cause I you know me. 
You know I love talking shit, but I'm also a, a mid-maxing bitch. And that I will absolutely eat my hat and, a, and equip this because it has, it has an upside. You know that. You know I'm going to do that. I sure am shit am equipping Warebuster. That's what's happening here. That is a good question about Runeblade. Does it have a special effect? Does it? Runeblade. Sword that is effective against spellcasters. Well, now I have indecision. Well, now I have indecision. I would typically think of spellcasters as more dangerous than beasts. Also, Runeblade sounds cooler. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go back to Runeblade. I'm retroactively correct. Let it be known. Keep both. I, yeah, I could, in fact, keep both. I do want to check the room where we fought the boss because this crystal orb looked cool. And we couldn't interact with it before because you saved the princess and it just ports you to the castle. The air hanging in the room seems slightly distorted. That's it? That's all you got for me? That's it? Key key. Okay. There's there's nowhere to go. So there's clearly a big secret. Were I a betting man, I would say we're coming back here for the final boss fight. And that's where the chests I have not yet found will then be found. I've played games before. I've seen a game or two in my time. All right. So where the hell are we going to go? We can't get our boat out. Oh, this is a new biome. Have I seen this one? I like this one. All right, we're just going to turn these off for a minute. I need to I need to get my bearings. And we're just we're just murdering basically innocent beings. Said dwarves are out to the west, but we can't navigate this. Now we're just gonna we got a dock there. Wait. Oh, that gets me on the other side of the mountains. Okay. Count us back on. So we haven't been over here, I don't believe. Anything down here? Are you all low level? Yes, apparently. Garrett almost saves as often as I do in games like this. You, you gotta. Like, what are you... Things can go so bad so quickly. What are you? These look like dwarves! Oh, we're back to Matoya's cave music, which I am into. Can I just rob him blind? With a crystal eye, even the blind can see. I hear that the dark elf Astus nicked the one belonging to Matoya. Can I just steal your shit? Is that a thing I can do? Or are you... I'm just, you know. I, I have trust issues now. Okay, we're just robbing you. Robbing you. Okay. We're robbing y'all. Thanks for the gill. Lolly ho! Get out of my way and let me out of this room. Oh my god. It forces you past. There we go. <laughs> that was that was tough. Am I running in here? Okay, that also that would have made that a lot easier. I'm looking for some levy stone. It's supposed to be a maze and material that makes things float in the air. Oh! Said it. Hell yeah! Oh, he did a little did a little flip. Look at a little flip. Look at the flip. Lolly freaking hell, buddy. Hey, you cabin we are Smith, Smith, in the Smith of Hills. With a crystal eye. Okay, we, we've read that one already. Just got shit all over the place. That sound? 
Oh, that's Nerek. He's smashing rocks in the back of the cave. Mind that when it comes to defense, a good arm that can be every bit as vital as body armor. We should try it sometime. Are they Canadian? What are they talking about? Lolly ho to you as well, sir. And or madam. You got a red hat. You look important. Let's talk to not important people first. They started to rot. It began in the West and knew the decay spritz. Knew the decay spritz. Wow, that is a big level. Sure didn't make it uh, convenient to... Holy crap! Thank you for the cottage. Thank you for the gale. Thank you for the mithril mail. Poison. Ether. Or potion. Worm killer. What is worm killer? Great helm. Holy freaking frick. Oh, is it? It's a sword. It's a friggin' sword. Nope. No. No, game. Don't you dare. Don't you friggin' dare. Okay, okay no, no. All right, the game is not smart. <laughs> Who are you? Nitro powder. The explosive force in this powder will have me canal open in no time flat. I owe ye, bairns. Oh, so we're just we're just progressing this effing story. There we go. Now we can blast this rock to smithereens. What are you standing around for? That powder is set to blue. Unless you plan on going with it, you best get out while you still can. So what just happened? Oh, is it gonna blow open the, the ocean? Oh, this is gonna be so cool if that's what happened. Oh, that's dope. That's really cute. Huh. Oh, that's, that's neat. Oh, they, they, really, they were very proud of their screen shake effect. I cannot wait to see what lies out beyond the canal. Well, that was easy. I guess I could have discovered them beforehand and had a little more drama leading up. Here I was avoiding talking to Red Hat because I thought that they were the important one. Nay, so fast. Those are just for display. I cannot fight with him. What are they? Swords? If only I could hate some of the legendary metal adamantite. I'd be able to craft such a magical sword. Okay, we got a new quest. We got a new quest, everybody. Uh, let's see. I'm going to make a note that Dwarf Smith Wants adamantite. Okay. Oh, we need Alpha now for the refined adamantite. That is that is true. Let's get him on the phone. That's it. Wow, that's it, huh? So not a town. I got. Oh, any shops or anything. This is just kind of like a little side area. I'm so glad one said Lolly Ho. All right, chat, curious. Did they, the, is Lolly Ho, uh, was that in the original game? Was was that in the original game or is that something added to the Pixel Remaster to kind of tie th tie things in? Yes, that was in the original, wait, no? We're getting yes and no. We have two yeses and two noes. Rally Ho was. Interesting. 
Interesting. Okay. I think it started in four. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. Translation team had problems with the translation? Pixel remasters have a lot of translation fixes. That makes sense. Not a bad thing. I just want to explore for a little bit. What else is out here? Anything? These are all low-level monsters we're fighting anyway. Let's see here. Anything at all? Anything at all? Nope. All right. Back in the boat we go. Wouldn't turn encounters back on. Part of what sailing's about. All right. Let's see what happens. Bandara on a single target. Probably shouldn't bother with Bandara unless it's like one of those like six stacks of Hagen. All right. So, what's happening here? We're heading. We're just heading west. Looks like Cuba. Buccaneers. What's up, guys? Said the Tampa Bay already. <laughs> White Mage doing some decent decent damage now with that hammer. <laughs> Glad to hear Tesla. Glad you're having a good time. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing the uh, the Shadowbringers uh, references they yanked from this. What is this town? Oh God, Melmon, not looking too hot, but they have they have shops. It's a gravestone. It's a gravestone. It's a gravestone. Hey y'all, did you know it's a gravestone? Oh crap, you can't go. You, you can't circumnavigate the. Uh... Oh yes, you can. You just got. It's like one block. It's a gravestone. Any any. Easter eggs on the gravestones? No. Earth is decaying, and it's all the doing of the vampire that lives in the cavern of the earth. We're going to go fight a vampire? Blocking the flow of the power of the earth. Hell yeah. Cavern of the earth is to the south of Melmond on a peninsula called the Devil's Tail. It used to be the closer you got to that cave, the more fertile the soil. Now it's a barren wasteland. What's up, blue hair? A giant living in the cave eats rocks. Really just about any kind of rock, but I hear he especially likes gems. Can't get enough of them. Is he going to eat our gems? There is nothing I, the great genius Dr. Une, do not know. What? You've never heard of me? Inconceivable. Gravestone. 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 Get out of my way. I don't know who you are, after all. Okay, those are walls, not sidewalks. Good to know. Gravestone. Gravestone. There was one Easter egg, and now this is my life. It's what happens. This is what happens when you put Easter eggs in games. It's Gravestone. 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 It's Gravestone. Did you know it's Gravestone? Nope. Gravestone. Gravestone. It's in fact a Gravestone. It's a Gravestone. Still a Gravestone. Any other Gravestones? A lot of dead people in this town. Nope. Nope. All right. Found all the Gravestones. Is this your church? Is this your church? Oh, it's, it is. Whatever that is, is destroyed. Welcome. What are you buying? Uh, 
I'm going to carry my broadsword because uh, it has sentimental value. Keep these just in case. Is Mithril better? Same. Wants to keep iron on there. So that's defense 24, weight 23. Defense 18, weight 8. Okay, so yeah, Mithril's significantly worse. <laughs> Thank you. You've got a decent amount of gill. What are things costing now? Longsword is an upgrade? What? Interesting. Attack. So it's 20 and 10. So what are we currently rocking? 19 and 15. That's... Calling that an upgrade game is... Putting things mildly. I think I'd rather have that massive chunk of accuracy and sack the one attack, right? That seems like a a worthy trade-off. All right, so we're going to skip that. That doesn't seem like anything there is really worth our time. Welcome. You've got mail. Saying the silver armlet is an upgrade for two of my party members. Great helm is I'm already wearing it. Bronze gloves are a downgrade. Steel gloves already wearing it. So could buy two silver armlets, but I'm also curious what spells are for sale. Because this shit's going to be expansive. Okay. Okay, 4,000 apiece. That's the same as the... Uh... All right. Stores a lot of HP to one alley. So big chunk, chunk, big honk and chonking heal. Uh, revives 1k. Oh shit. That's, you get a res. You get a full on res. Ooh. Ah, uh, there's the better undead. Considering there's a blight on this zone, I have a feeling we're going to be fighting more undead. So Diaga does seem like it would be a smart purchase. Ooh, a, a, a Big, oh, 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 boy, we could just, was that 12,000? Life, Diaga, Hilara all sounds great. I think I would skip Kiraga. Um, a big AoE heal sounds nice. Yeah, like a vampire, yes. I guess I could have also had to think about the vampire. All right. Um, definitely buying this. Absolutely buying that. Absolutely buying this. Yeah, we're just gonna. You know what? We're just gonna. We're just gonna blow it. We haven't. We haven't had a. We haven't grinded this session yet. So I'm just gonna blow some gill on shit that seems like it's really good. Find anything to your liking. All right, fire damage to all enemies. So fire AOE. I'm sorry. What? What is this? I'm assuming this doesn't work on bosses, but it, it, it. <laughs> big chance to miss. Yeah, because the game doesn't tell you like the the hit rate. Oh, what? Wow, this is some interesting utility teleport. Oh, so it's not completely out. It's not escape rope from Pokemon, but it it's it's better than nothing. Reduces one enemy's number of attacks. <sighs> Scourge feels like a trap. <laughs> I feel like there's no way that this is as good as you want it to be. This seems good because my gut tells me, it tells me it sounds unexciting. And anytime something is unexciting in this game so far, it's been very good, like in Viz. AoE fire also just seems good. 
Having access, having having options for elemental damage has not been a bad thing so far. I have felt rewarded every time. I'm definitely picking this up. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pick that up too. Um, and we'll we'll have a think. I'll have a think on the on the teleport. That seems just like a, I want to be lazy. Uh, convenience is kind of where my head's at on that one right now. What do you mean I can't learn teleport? Why can't I learn teleport? Why is it an option? Only red mage? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, hey, look at that. So my only, I could get scourge and that's it. Huh. Huh. All right, what was the um, stats before we leave? I can afford one of those circlets. What was the stats on it again? Silver armlet. 15 with a weight of one. 15 with a weight of one. You're currently wearing copper armlet, which is four. So that's a huge upgrade. And this is also, you're also wearing it. So that's a massive upgrade in defense. All right, so yeah, we're gonna buy one of these at least. I'm gonna buy one of these. And I think I'm gonna put on the monk because he keeps getting smacked. Yeah, look at that defense. Eight to 19. Way better. Where's the copper? Where's the thing? We should have an extra copper armlet. There it is. Okay. All right. Now we need money. Because we want the long sword? No, the long sword is a side grade. But we want one more uh, silver armlet. Yeah. Aren't I lucky? Uh, yeah. Can, can, you, can you believe it? All the shops. All the shops evaded destruction. What are the chances? All right, this town does not have a castle. I'm gonna go ahead and hard save. What's everyone doing on health and shit? Oh, what's going on here? Shadow. The Hedgehog. I'm a huge fan. Let's see what happens. Uh, and then you, let's, let's see what Diaga has has to bring. <laughs> Keanu Reeves, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, because he's going to be Shadow. Down they go. All right. I meant to see. Also, might as well just, unless it's horribly expensive. Undergill? Okay. All right, F it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'm made of money, even though I'm mostly broke now. Even though I'm mostly broke now. Let's save again, now that we're at like full health and full everything. And then let's uh, take a look here. Just gonna start exploring. Just gonna explore, oh Jesus. Oh, that's so many. Potentially poisonous bastards. Tarantulas were like low. Black Widows and Tarantulas are low level though, aren't they? Oh, they're, just, they're just getting one shot. And they're doing one damage. They did poison my monk though, because they're bastards. There they go. Done. Okay. So yeah, these seem like they're low-level monsters, even though we're in a new area. 
Jeez. Then you, honestly, D is probably fine, because these are not wicked high level. Didn't even need to use the, the new fancy thing. Uh, okay. Real quick, though. What's down? Hold on. This is just how my brain works. Wait, actually. These should be queued up, so. Oh, you jerks. Satisfying. Very satisfying. We need the gill. How are we doing? Already back up to 2,000. Okay, so gill acquisition is not, not too bad. I guess I should have walked into that place to see what the hell it was called. Pull on his way, yeah. Cavern of Earth B1. Okay. All right. What's the other place that I should have walked into first to see what the hell it was? Stop hitting my black mage, you jerks. There's the poison. Every time. It's like I'm back in the marsh cave. Giant's cave. Okay. This also has its own levels. Hmm. All right, we're gonna do, but we're here. Let's do Giant's Cave first. Are you the giant? You look like a giant. Spiders just want to eat Joe Cat. Apparently, poisonous tuna. Yeah, yeah, you know, you gotta take good care of your canned goods. The war wolves are uh, taking some hits. Luckily, no poison out of any of these bastards. Can you not walk through these rocks? Okay. Thanks for the super, Keto. You want to hear it on the 8 bit? I can oblige to that. Oh, hold on, let me. Let's listen to it as is. Jaunty is how I would describe this. All right, let's hear an ape. you. I am with you, Kid of Phoenix. Yeah, I wouldn't have gone with like loot in the in the arrangement arrangement. Like I'd go with more heavier like strings, maybe even some like full on horns. Yeah, this is way more This is this has much more presence. Adventurous is a good way to put it. But yeah, imagine it being like, like, like a string section, like, like you could really get in there. Yeah, this is, I'm with you. I think this is an improvement. <laughs> then if we go back to, it's like, it sounds so different. This is probably the biggest. P 
pan flute, which I do love. Yeah, the other one I could have heard, I could have totally heard like a full on go orchestral, get a full string section, get some horns. And they went more with like Disney World Adventureland vibe, which I don't hate. This isn't bad. Uh, it does kind of fit what's going on here, being like a Rocky Mossy Cavern. But yeah, I'm with you. I think I prefer the 8-bit version. I think I prefer it. Uh, what's up, Mr. Giant? You shall not pass. It's that simple. You shall not pass. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's see. Let's make, let's make some notes. What the hell is this area called? What are we calling this? I'm just going to call this Vampire West. Vampire West is what I'm calling this. I'm calling this Vampire West. That's, that's what I'm calling it. Now canon. We need to feed the giant a rock. That's what we need to do. All right. We need to, yeah. Uh, we'll call him Gaines Dolph. You know, because he's, he's a giant Gan Gandalf. Feed him nitro. <laughs> well, we used it to blow up a peninsula. Ooh, cool tiger sprite. Do you do lots of damage, Lester Tiger? You're the first tiger I've come 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 across, so I wouldn't I wouldn't call you lesser. Let's just see. What ha Ooh, 55, so not a slouch in the damage department, but did die from a single hit from my warrior. We got an X potion. What is it? What is X potion besides not the best cocktail in the Final Fantasy 14 cookbook? What does X potion do? Fully restore his HP. That is not what the drink did for me. Made me want to gargle seltzer because it was so cloying because there was so much sweetener in that drink. Thick and liquid, the cocktail. Now let's just uh, auto attack through here. Yeah, apparently Tiger's just handing that shit out. He's doing it. Go faster, damn you. Puncherino. Okay, nice. One damage for everybody. Gargling seltzer sounds more like a punishment. <laughs> it would make your eyes water, right? Because you'd be really agitating the CO2, and it would just be bubbling like crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and top off Val. Because who the hell knows? Oh, crap. Yeah, or just, you know, waste a spell slot. All right, whatever this is, we're going to explore it. And that feels good. All right. Let's uh, put ourselves back on walk. And let's make some intelligent direction choices. Well, we got some doors. Doors in both directions. All right. We can right off this corner pretty quickly. Unless it requires a new type of key that I don't have. Good, f good dusty fog effect. Cobras! Cobras are venomous snakes. Are you venomous in the game? I bet you are. I bet you are, you purple bastard. I'm not sure if this is necessary, but let's just give it a look. Let's just give it a look-see. Oh, we got so many things. I guess we'll just attack for now. Get things started. Okay, maybe temper was unnecessary. Oh, okay. 
All right, so we're doing... This is the first floor, and if I remember Marsh Cave, first floor kind of lulled you into a sense of security. Anacondas, okay. Just gonna... We've already fought anacondas. They're a lower level enemy. Down you go. Down you go. Those anacondas don't want none. How are we doing? I could almost afford another silver arm circlet if we need it. Oh my god. I should have saw this coming. What are you, Earth Elemental? What's bad against Earth? What is bad against Earth? What would Earth, what would be super effective against Earth? In Pokemon, it would be water or uh, oh shit, uh, ice. I guess. yeah, ice. I guess. Cause I don't have a water attack. This isn't Pokemon. But I do have Blizzard and Blizzara, so let's try Blizzard. A wind spell? Yeah, I, don't, I got nothing. A white mage getting first on the initiative order. Okay. Got some health. 32. That seems low. Are they weak against getting stabbed in the face? Remember Uri's map of the elements? I don't remember. Who do I look like? Kyle? Have you met me? Let's try fire. Oh, well, didn't have that much health left anyway. Try spinning. That's a good trick. Hey, we can afford another thing. Yeah. Is it not thunder? I would think earth like in, in electricity would ground the electricity and, and therefore render it useless. Am I operating a little bit off of Pokemon logic? Yeah, but I'm also operating off of real life logic. I know there's going to be more shit in here that we're going to want to AOE on, so I don't really want to, like, overcommit on the using spells on Tarantula. Oh, the fire didn't one-shot the Tarantula, though. We're just going to poison the whole fucking party. Yeah, let's go. Anastasia, thanks for the 19 months. Should probably stop autoing so that my Black Mage does not continue to cast fire, as it's actually not doing all that much. Oop the snoot. Quick save in case anything goes bad. So we basically... I want to see what's in these doors next. Which would be this middle path? Yes. Hey, I got something for that. Do I want to rip it this early, though? Let's be honest. We're probably heading back to town at least once. Right? Probably heading back to town at least once. Get one more, like, armband. Silver, whatever the hell they're called. What did I, what did I get? Am I, my, am I on the black mage? Nope. Oh, wait, no. That's a white mage thing I got. What am I thinking of? Yeah, yeah, okay. You're just going to attack. You. You, do the, do the thing. Here we go. God rays. Jeez. Nah, I was, I was looking for a Diaga. But for some reason, I was thinking black mage, not white mage. Mummies are weak to Brendan Fraser. I mean, are we not all weak to Brendan Fraser? Have you looked at that man? Have you seen the mummy? Have you seen George of the Jungle? We're just gonna we're just gonna start burning. We're just gonna start burning stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pop out of the cave. Relatively soon. shit! This is why this is why you check the map, Garrett. This is why you check the map. I have not seen the whale yet. I have not seen the whale. Uh 
I've heard it's extremely good and a real bad time. Hey, it's Shrek! We found him, everybody! Four damage. God, I love the defense on my warrior. Uh, Shrek, uh, Shrek didn't live long. Val is over 200 hit points, everybody. You prefer the Jolly Green Giant? I have a sudden need to eat green beans. Why is he so far from his swamp? That's a good, that's a good question. He's trying to find a hot dragon for his buddy. Cobras. I'm just gonna let you go and hopefully not get poisoned at the end of this. Nice, there we go. Okay. I have played enough Final Fantasy one at this point to know I should save. There it is. Another Earth Elemental. Alright, you're just gonna temper my monk. Because I don't know what the hell is super effective against Earth Elementals. Ah! Oh, it does some, doing some serious damage to Tuna. Not nothing. Another round of attack should do it, though. Oh, crap, I double tempered. 328, though. That was fun to see. Oh, crap along a ding-dong. Okay. Try lightning? Okay, I'll try lightning. Hey! No monsters. Double temper is fine. It's just I don't think we needed it. I, th I think we would have gotten through that without double, double tempering. With no issue. A punch went through the monster. Yeah. Just some DBZ shit. I'm gonna do heal our white mage and probably drop a heal into our monk as well. Let's uh, do a bigger heal. And maybe a little heal. Or two on the monk. Yeah, that's... Blow out the uh, level one spells. My God. Game cozy, yeah. Yeah, I'm having a good time. This is not a bad way to spend. Uh, it's not a bad way to spend the week. If you like it, please like the stream and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Okay. Hmm. A wild Sira. Thanks for becoming a member. Appreciate it. Welcome to Gearbox. There are some bonus videos you have now unlocked on the channel, by the way, in addition to our emotes. You liked the stream yesterday? Well, thank you, Sarah. Yeah. You can do it again. Would you have guessed monsters? All right, now we can try lightning of some sort. That's just normal ass thunder. That's AOE. We don't have like a bigger one. Let's just see what happens with thunder. Well, we're not gonna get too, too nutty. That was some big damage into our monk there. All right, let's see. 20. I know it's a low level spell, but that doesn't seem like that did a damn thing. Right, this will probably just, uh, we'll probably just white damage through this at this point. Yeah, there we go. I don't think it has any weaknesses. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting. That is definitely the vibe I've been, I'm, I am now vibing with. Probably just drop a big heal on my warrior. Go ahead and use Kira. Twice. Right. More monsters. Yeah.
everything else didn't matter. <laughs> Classic. All that for an antidote. Okay. All right, let's at least take a peek at the next floor. That's this floor handle. Let's take a peek at the next floor, but then we'll probably back out, go back to town, buy an armlet, heal up, and then go for the final floor. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. It's a good effect. Yeah. No poison. The gods are good today. Marsh cave, this is not. Ooh, Minotaur. Hello. Welcome to the party. Let's just go with all white damage. See, see if I should fear you. Three damage to the warrior. Okay. Uh, Vane, you're getting your 12 months? Hell yeah. Thanks for hanging out for so long. Appreciate it. I'm I am I am happy. I'm I'm happy to be cozy. I can promise it at least till the end of the week. Cabin of Earth B2. Okay. What are we what are we working with in here? Oh, this is this is big. Is that a hole in the ground? Can I go in that hole in the ground? That looks like a hole in the ground. Oh wait, there's okay. Oh no, never mind. Maybe not. There's another one along the way. It looks like it's probably probably goes nowhere. Oh, there's a door. And then there's even deeper. Oh, and there's another door. Okay. All right. We're going to head back to town. <laughs> After a random encounter. And buy uh, that last piece of gear. Heal up. And then hopefully make our final run through here. And we'll kill everything along the way so we can get a little, a little extra gill for our trouble. And yeah, tarantulas, take, take, take a few hits. Take a few hits. Something about playing uh, game, games on old handhelds as the cozy vibe? Absolutely. I uh, can confirm. Pick up my, I pick up my Game Boy every once in a while. Go, just go. Gill for the gill gods. And levels for my combat pleasure. All right. Town is a, a little ways away. Oh, 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 we got poisoned. We got poisoned. Back up to 14,000. Let's live life on the edge. Will Tuna survive? Will he make it back to town? Before dying? Who needs antidotes? Walk it off. Florida man energy. We take our venomous snakes very seriously. Very, very seriously in Florida. We don't mess around. I do believe he stays poisoned, however. So we should probably actually use an antidote. What? Who else is poisoned? Oh, freaking. Black mage, what, what's going on? Why? Why are you the way that you are? Didn't even realize he got poisoned. All right, so we're going to pick up one more silver armor. And we're going to go ahead and put it on our white mage. 
much more defense. That makes me feel so much better. Uh, okay. Maybe buy like a, another Phoenix down. I got a res though on the white mage now, so I don't feel as actually. Do they even have an item store here? They do not have an item store here. Couldn't buy a Phoenix down if I wanted to. That. That's spooky. Huh. Huh. Alright. Let's do this. Let's just get back there. Let's get to work. Let's get let's en let's enjoy random encounters where it matters. In the spooky place. What are these other two places? Giant's cave. Oh, giant! Oh, it's, there's two markers of the giant's cave. Okay. Cavern of Earth. Oh, there's no resurrection in town. You're right. That thing that looked like a church was a church, but it was a destroyed church. That is evil. On now we, we we have an earnest exploration. I think we go huh. Top right first and then bottom and then wherever that takes us. That's my thinking. Let's turn speed back to walk. Is this the way to go? No, we want to go up. I'm trying to do this in the least number of steps imaginable. Down. Jesus. What are you? Hill Gigas. Chonky. All right. Didn't skip any of the days. You just what they are. The Hill Chads are here, everybody. Gaze upon them in despair. I kind of want to try Confuse. That's probably better on a much larger group, though. Hmm. I'm going to try this, yeah. Let's try paralyzing one of them. I'm going to just drop an attack and see what happens. Ah! Okay, they, they, they hit fairly heartily. Should have done that at the beginning for maximum value. Oh, tried the fleet. Miss, man. Black mage missing everything, but white mage Val swinging in with the killing blow on the hill chad. And we got two level ups on JC and Joe Cat. Uh, okay, we got some health down. And we got some health and a bunch of other stuff. Sweet, 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 sweet. I have played some of the older Zelda games. I've played A Link to the Past. I've never played the original Zelda. I've never, I don't think I've ever beaten A Link to the Past though. No, I don't think I have. I don't think I've ever beaten it. Uh, that is Katie's favorite game. Uh, and she ridicules me frequently for having not beaten it. Some gargoyleage. OG Zelda could use a remake. Yeah. I'd get in on a Link to the Past remake, too. That would probably kick me in the ass to actually finally beat the damn thing. You know, we're talking to. Uh, Earlier about playing games with your parents, I know A Link to the Past was a big one for Katie and her mom. Uh, they used to play that together. Okay, let's hit it with a... Let's hit it, just, uh, happy quick saves. Happy quick saves. What the shit? Trolls. Huh. Okie dokie then. Put on some pants. 
damn pervs. All right, let's just go ahead and roll out the temper on the monk. These trolls are 110% naked. They sure look like it. Probably heal the monk after this. Okay, there goes the temper. And we're just going to attack all the things. And Bob's your uncle. Coral sword. Nineteen fifteen, and the worm killer is nineteen fifteen. Is there? I, hate, I have to go to items to, to read like the effective against aquatic enemies. That makes sense. That makes sense. I don't think we're gonna find any of those here. Tent. No monsters. Can I start trusting this game again? No, of course not. I will never I will never trust a chest in this game ever again after Marsh Cave. It has scarred me for the rest of my time with this with this adventure. I want to go left because I want to check that bottom door. Oh, it says press X for description. Well, aren't I just a jackass of highest of the highest accord? There we go. Get shrekt! One troll? Have you met me? Are you aware what my party is capable of? Yes, uh, we let stream decide the names. Okay. We should probably... Dump a little health back onto the monk. That looks okay. I think we can work with that. It's Earth Elemental time. Yes, temper went out before the monk attacked. Let's go. Love it. You love to see it. Three freaking chests. And that's all the rooms in here, right? Yeah, cool. Hell yes. Yes, I do save often. Why do you ask? 575. Okay. Leather leather shield? What? Ooh, 5,000 gil? Okay, all right, I, I will forgive you. Leather shield is crap, right? Isn't that the first shield I had? Defense two. I guess iron shield's only four, so. This is not the worst thing in the world. Pressing X to see the description does work. Who'd have thunk it? If only I read. Mm. I'm gonna try this. All oh, the chugabos. <laughs> That's pretty great. Oh, does it only last one turn? Well, what happens if, like, the, the... What happens if it lands and they've already attacked? <laughs> Reading, what is this, Final Fantasy XIV? No, you just got unlucky? Oh, okay. All right. 
Alright. Well, I'm glad to know that I just got unlucky. Alright, let's head to that door. Again with a single troll. Are you trolling me, FF1? A gaggle of Shreks appears. Don't attack my black mage. You dicks. A murder of Shreks. <laughs> yes, that is in fact what we are doing. Health, health went down quite a bit. We could uh, potion our, our monk at once at least. Oh jeez. My god. <laughs> that Minotaur is ruining its decisions. Okay, wow, these rooms are. Ooh, this. Whoa, this room's huge. This room's massive. Holy shit. Okay. Don't think the AoE is worth it with only three undead targets. I was expecting more undead targets. I guess we're not getting we're not near the vampire yet though, so. Whatever the lead up to the vampire is, I would imagine a lot of undead. Just in case. Sleeping bag. Okay. Holy hell. I'll try this again. Ooh, opening with the fuse is pretty all right. Ain't no party like an ogre party. They're all shy. <laughs> What's that over there? Okay, so that persisted through a turn, except for bottom guy. Got the check. That's fine. All right, that's cool. I am not disappointed with Confuse. It is as satisfying as I hoped it would be. Oh, I forgot to check the map when I was in a room. Poop. Oh boy. Gassed and wiped. Let's just get a little air we going in there. Do the low level one. Oh, paralyzed shit. Never mind. <laughs> Fire was more than enough. And okay, we're almost to this room. Remind me, do not let me forget, chat. To check my map when I'm in here. Shit! Psycho demons are just normal monsters now? Okay. This is what we're doing.
Oh. Mm. <laughs> Jeff, thank you for the super. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm sorry for your loss of money. Tires are not cheap. I'm just gonna white damage him to death. Oh, sorry, right they're fish. I could have thundered. Oh well, it's all fine. Yeah, friggin' tires, man. I'm gonna need some. It's probably within the next year. Probably need a. Probably need at least two for the Mustang. Hey, yeah, you better run. Fun. I laughed at the pun. <laughs> here, here, here. It was well constructed. I'll give you this. Just in your honor. To your, I'm so tired. <laughs> we get to watch you all waiting for the four new ones we put on. You get this. this you get this, Jeff. There you are. Just for you. Monsters. Mm. Who got no value out of their temper? I did. Golden Needle. That's it, huh? <laughs> Blackbird, thank you for the 22 months. <sighs> Danger Days is the Stormblood of My Chem album. It's not... Oh, that might be true. I'm not, I'm, I hate to admit that I'm just, I am in the camp of not particularly liking Danger Days. And I do like Stormblood, so that's, that's a tough one for me to agree with. But I respect Danger Days. There's some respectable shit on that album. But I just, I don't care for it. I like, I like Na Na Na. That's a good song. That's a banger. Well, how the shit do I get to that room? Oh wait, okay. Oh, it's a it's a door on the inside. I think I understand. Okay, all right. So we just avoid top left room. Avoid top left room. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go from here. We're gonna go to top mid, and from top mid we're gonna go there, and then we're whatever that is. Probably some. Enchanted teleporting placement. We're gonna go to the the rocket tower and ride all those those spinny tiles. Oh God Almighty! All right, y'all. I guess I could have just used the thunder. It's all it's all about initiative. You never you never know how it's gonna shake out. Might have an NPC in it. Oh, that's a good point. No NPCs do not show on maps. Yeah, they like might be a boss or something. Shoot, why? You're, are are you tricking me? Do you know that there's nothing in there and you're just trying to trick trick me? Oh, you found your old GBA. Hell yeah, Suna. Yeah, get up some fire on this weekend. That sounds like a good time. Let's see here. We're getting low on some stuff. We'll just start using the stuff with the thing and the but not and the burger dirt, and that's fine. And we'll just go here and we'll find the Dia. Bye. Wah. Bum, 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 bum. 
3,400 gil. Jesus. Good God. Yeah, we'll just white attack the murder of ogres here. Keep it simple. Save our spells. Because we're getting low. I have, what, two ether, I think? Maybe one? We were here. I might as well go into the door. Jesus! All attacking before we get to put commands in. You bastards. Guess we just auto attack. God, these, these so many ogres, the attacks take forever to uh Reconcile. Guess we should have doubled up the mages on the same target. I don't hit very hard, thank god. Black mage could use a heal. Uh, I do have tents, but you can't use them. You have to leave to use any of that shit. You gotta get out of the dungeon to tent, to sleeping bag, to cottage. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, because it's quite the long walk out. That's why I'm not doing it. Because I can't. I can't do it. It's too tense. Yes, exactly. Uh, oh, there's a freaking mofo in here. Okay, alright. I'm not one to back down from a challenge. Usually, it's two rounds of white damage to get rid of this damn earth elemental in the first place, so I don't see any reason to potentially waste a temper cast. Hey, there we go. And now the monk needs a little bit of a top off. Did I get anything? I, I went through that way too fast. Did I get something for my trouble? Did we, did we just do that just to do it? Is that all we did? That's all we did? You monster. All we did. I got... No, I, the, I only have one X potion, and I already got that X potion from somewhere else. That's not a new X potion. Let's see here. Oh no, that's on everybody. Monk is getting pretty low. Freed the backs. <laughs> Clearly. Alright, so now from here, go down and take a right. My kingdom for some repel. I know I could turn encounters off, but trying to be uh, fairly authentic. Cockatrice! Okay. Okay. Well, that's all they wrote. B Bye, Cox. Yeah, don't get a quick save. Monsters. Yep. Yeah, Should have quick save. Should have done it. Man. Dude loves hitting my monk. Imagine if we didn't have the, the, the higher defense on the monk, like, shit would be bad. You're saying munch, monk, monk is punchy? One could say that. Okay. Let's see what's so fancy about this room back here. You bastards. 
I'm sick of seeing your stupid squid faces. Let's just do that. Because our shit's gonna... We don't know the, uh... Order. Have you seen a blue bat yet? You're the vampire, aren't you? Yeah, you're the vampire. All things in this world are destined to end in death. The seal cannot be broken, and so the earth shall rot. What do you look like, though? Uh, Magneto? Is that you? You cannot alter destiny. Meal mortals cannot kill the undying. I am no mere mortal. Ooh, that was a nice little transition. There. All right. All right, we're doing the thing. We're doing all the things. He does himself. <laughs> Thirty-two? That's it? What does gaze do? Oh no, paralyzed. Shit. Shit, that's no good. The heal? Oh my god. Well, oh, he should be undead though. I should be using my un my uh my, my white mage abilities. It's all enemies. Uh, doubles and allies. Yep. No. Oh, wait, does that stack with that? I should, uh, uh, but hold on. I could try and paralyze, but that's probably not going to work. Probably not going to work. Let's try that. You. You got something fancy. I know it's only one, but let's give it a shot. There we go. Now we're doing some damage. It's a shame Tuna is paralyzed. 207? Holy shit, we just nuked him from orbit. Uh... Everyone's been like, Monk overpowered. He granted, the Monk did deliver some decent damage there. But can we talk about Godray's White Mage for a minute? You've been smoked. Properly smoked. Also, is that our first level 20? Tuna has hit level 20. We've done it. 394. That's a nice jump in health. I figured the vampire was going to be after whatever we do with the golem dude. What's everyone doing on health? Two and one, we thought, yeah, we're fine. Come one, May, we'll be okay. The Star Ruby. I'm assuming we're feeding that to the giant. I'm not even going to make a note about that. That's how certain I am. Guys, can you let us have our victory lap, please? There's so many of you. you it, it, it really, you're not inconvenient because of something like poison. You just take so long to get your attacks out of the way. I just don't realize it's all ogre. Nice. All right, so what's this? I trust nothing. Stone slab is set into the floor. An evil force seems to emanate from within. That's it? What? Really? Okay. All right. Bum, 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 bum,
How are we doing on gill? 45,000 gill? <laughs> Jesus. You know what? For fear of being over level, I'm not even doing this for convenience at this point. I just feel like we got enough gill. We got enough gill. I think I think we got enough enough XP. We're just gonna exit without fighting things. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Don't worry, the next tier of magic will eat most of it. I believe that. I do believe that. I did not get teleport. No, actually, we found out I can't get teleport. None of none of my party can learn it. Get out of my way, bat! Pixel games do still feel so good, but we get we can, we still get new pixel games. Uh, I need to, I need to get back and beat Sea of Stars. I was really enjoying that. Um. Diagonal movement? Yeah, right? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this diagonal movement. Games will never be deeper than this. Advanced tech. So advanced. So advanced. Yeah, Octopath is also freaking fantastic. That's another game I need to get back to. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Giant, eat this. You have Star Ruby. Give me Star Ruby, and I'd let you pass. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Yeah, you eat that Star Ruby. Crunch munch. Hmm, nothing tastes better than tastier than rubies. Okay. You, you, you good, buddy? Oh, you, he's just leaving. He's just leaving. So what was down here? Down here's a door. And this is going to take me out of this room. So let's check the door first. Oh my. Okay. Hold up. Because I have trust problems. Great axe. 620 gil. 550 gil. I throw helm. Any of this actually an upgrade? The Great Axe goes down in accuracy, but up in attack. I don't know how I feel about that. I like landing hits, is my is my gut feeling. Mithril Helm appears to be just a downright upgrade. I'm gonna stick with Worm Killer. Everyone else good? Yep, okay. Alright. So I don't need to go through all that business again in case I die. Do, 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 do. Actually, I guess let's go with Encounters on, because stuff in here could be different. Who knows? Oh, we're on the back side. Oh, that's why there were two dots. Okay. What the hell are those? Hyenodons. Oh, okay. Okie dokie then. Those are new, so I'm going to assume they're dangerous. That's a nice effect. Damn. Oh, yeah, look at them. They got some, they got some health. dogs. You'd be nice to the dogs. That's a tiny amount of HP. Some nice upgrades elsewhere. Black Mage getting a pretty minor upgrade there on that level. So what's over here? Oh, there's a whole other ass cave. 
Well, we couldn't get two. Lesser Tiger. How you doing? Oh, that's right. They actually... They got some health. Oh, no. Oh, they also do some damage. All right. Ass cave. No, thank you. Hate it when I miss the ass cave. <laughs> it's a good crowd. It's a good crowd here. See what this uh see what this hole is all about. We're back to the Matoya. Matoya vibes. This was called Sage's Cave. Sage's Cave. Alright, we're gonna find Alpha now. Just chilling. What the fudge. Tell me your secrets. Nothing? Nothing? It's just a room just to have a room. Okay, hold on. What's in the other rooms? That looks like there's going to be an NPC in that room. Lots of pot. Yeah. A pothead lives here. Oh, I see. Got an old man. So, you are crap. Oh, I hate that. Damn it. If I ever so slightly bump a joystick it, it registers it as continuing the freaking dialogue and is the one thing I hate about this game <laughs> what the hell did he say what did he even say alright I'm, I'm, I'm going to the replay I'm going I'm going to the replay I'm pulling up my own stream to try and frame by frame this shit Here we go. All right, almost there. Y'all can't see this. Ah, uh, so he said, So you are the ones who defeated the vampire, eh? All right, I'm literally frame by framing this. He was but a servant. The beast corrupting the earth crystal lurks much deeper within the cavern. Oh. That's why we need to go back in. Here, take this staff with you and use it, to use it behind the vampire's chamber. I think that was it. I think that's all we got. Okay. All right, so we got to go back to the ominous floor plaque. Go back to the ominous floor plaque. And, uh, and yeah. And that's what we got to do. Okay, I horribly need a beverage. I need to hydrate. I will be right back. So I'm going to, um, all I have for a be right back image is, is this. It's old and, and not accurate. I'm not getting coffee. I'm getting water. I'll be right back. crap y'all ever just forget to drink water and then you drink water and 
it's like the best thing you've ever put in your body. <laughs> oh, that's the experience I'm having right now. Oh, holy shit. Oh, when did I take this? That was my... Where? Hold on. Where's my obs? Oh, my God. Oh, standing up also felt good. I'm like, my body is just like, take care of yourself. What are you doing? Feel better. Um, this used to be my AFK image when I, uh, uh, back in like, I think 2018. I, I, when World of Warcraft Classic first launched, I, I streamed a, a few days a week and I called it Classic and Coffee. This is my AFK image for Classic and Coffee. Um, and it was usually actually uh, honest because I would start the stream at like, I think 9 a.m. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I'm just having a moment. Clearly underhydrated today. Clearly underhydrated. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Whew. Alrighty. That's good. That's good. How we doing? Cool. That's all right. We can put this away. <clears throat> You're not young. Keep your body healthy and stretchy. Thank you, Midnight. Thank you for reminding me of my age. I appreciate it. <clears throat> All right. Anything to say? Restore the crystals to grace. All right, old man. But first, turning encounters off and returning to town because holy shit, I just kind of need a rest. Want a coffee too, by the way. Honestly, yeah, I could. I could go for coffee. I I try very hard not to have a second coffee anymore. Um, just to. I, I love coffee. I love caffeine. I just I but I uh you know I want caffeine to still affect me, so I try to limit my use. Try to limit my use of caffeine. Also, I remember going, the core memory for um, college, I remember going to a summer demo uh, of an illustrator I really like. Uh, goes by the name of John Foster. I don't know if you've ever seen any of his work, but he, he did an illustration demo at my college during the summer one year, and I went to go see his, his he, I think he was doing an oil painting uh, demonstration. <clears throat> and so I went to go watch his, his oil painting demonstration, um, and... He was doing like some details and so he was actually like painting on a you know an easel so you're painting upright and and so he was like doing one of these like kind of resting his wrist on his left hand and you kind of seemed like get a little shake in there and he was just like i'm i'm sorry y'all i'm trying to quit caffeine and it's <laughs> it's having an effect <laughs> and i'm just like man and i think about that all the time and and ever since then i've tried to i don't want to quit caffeine i enjoy it um but I've tried to make sure I don't overdo it on the, on the caffeine. That, that, that kind of woke me up. That kind of woke me up. Um, all right. Let's do, a, uh, let's do a rest. Just carrying cottages for reasons. I guess, like, yeah, I could probably burn a cottage. I keep forgetting that that's a thing. But this is how I've always... This is how I've always done things. Like, when I play Pokemon, like, I would always just go back to town. That's how I play these old school RPGs. To me, it's part of the loop. This, this is, this is as much of the loop as anything else as far as I'm concerned. We could probably get one more Black Mage spell. Like, is there something we could... Or is this the one... This is the one where we can't get Teleport, so the only other thing we could get is Scourge. Which I just feel like is going to be a waste. I just feel like Scourge is going to be a waste. But I might as well, you know, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna laugh as we watch four thousand gil just do nothing. That's what we're gonna do. What if you need that cottage later? You're right. See, Sean gets it. Sean gets it. Sean knows how this works. All right. Mama. Wait, this is giant's cave. No shit. Went the wrong place. I am a professional. I just, I just professionally suck.
Me and Andy have very different play styles. Interesting. So Andy just uses like all items all the time. Gets, gets, brings everything down to zero. Goes outside and pops a cabin. Quite the journey. Okay, yep. I did, in fact, forget to normal save outside. It'll probably be fine. It'll probably be fine. Might as well get up to some random encounters on the way. Gotta make up. Gotta make up for that scourge that we purchased. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. You know, we're gonna pit the two um, maybe kill everythings against each other. Let's see how it goes. Okay, D D1. D1, the initiative roll. Here we go again. Yeah, we'll just do this and we'll just throw another one of these out. They're already dead, Garrett. How am I going to learn if I don't try it and fail? There we go. Bye, everybody. How the hell do I get where I'm going? Okay. Going down, down. Here's all the undead that I was expecting to fight. We gotta flee. And, uh, okay. All right. They fled. Down y'all go. Only two psycho demons. They seem to always be in pairs of three or four, in my experience. 46 to the white mage, you dick. All right. You ass. That should do it. Mind flayers are always disrespectful. What are you talking about? Great manners. We want to use the white mage. That's what we want. To use. A little top off there, and a little top off here. And, all right, over here, up, around. What the hell is ochre jelly? I don't like the look of this. Let's see if fire. Let's see if fire's good. And I feel like, like, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I'll just maybe attack something. Obviously, the tarantula should be relatively easy to kill. Okay. Fire appears to be quite effective against them. Look, I don't want to look at that. Do you want to look at that? I don't want to look at that. Let's see this with a quick save. In case something bad happens. How's everyone doing on health? Pr pretty, pretty good. We could. 
second as well. Drop that. And yeah, let's just let's just top you off. Now let's quick save with the heals. Alright. Because so I don't know if this is gonna drop me straight into combat or not. I guess not. I guess not. Cavern of Earth B4. How big are you? You are not small. You are not to end you. Wow, and you're not the end. All right. We forge ahead. Wraiths aren't that big of a deal, though, so that's nice to see there's not a massive difficulty increase right out of the gate. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to auto-battle that. Bye. This'll be fine. Wherever the wherever the attacks go, it's it's fine. Ah, oh, you paralyzed my warrior, you bastards. It's fine. Just in case. Monsters. Yep. There it is. Oh, we got more of those hyena dons. Okay. I see you. Have we seen an ogre mage? I think an ogre mage is new. I don't think we've seen the turquoise mage. Nice. Fyra for that ass. Oh, you're healing, aren't you cute? All right, there they go. Not enough. Blue mage confirmed is that... Mm. Little Eiffel 65 action. Shreks. That's how this works. Hayden and Don is a weird... Yeah, I, I agree. I have to, like, think about it before I pronounce it. How do they fit in that chest? That's a very good question. Are these all going to be monsters? Nope. 1520 gill. Monsters. We got one break. Oh, you're new, Sphinx. Okay, you look kind of spooky. Don't know how much I should respect you yet. 14 damage on a warrior, eight damage, okay. 200, eight, eight to 200 attack, attack though, okay. All right, so they're hardy. Hardy Sphinx. 400 health, hell yeah. Nice, that was a nice level up. Would you guess more monsters? All right. Two rounds of white damage seems fine, although I guess I should have probably dumped some health into my black mage. There we go. All right, let's hit it with another quick save. If they have Petrify, I have no idea. I'm not sure. Oh shit, this is what we should have done. We are in a room. In a, in a room. Uh, okay, we got a bunch of chests there, and then that's kind of it. 
We're just... Oh, that's going to be quite the backtrack. Devious. Devious. But we're here. We came for the guild. Hey, we're back. We're, we're back with the scary, scary dudes. Fire seemed to be quite good last time. So we'll do that again. I think the fire one-shot those dudes in the back there. And yes, we, we in fact got poisoned. We know what to, we, you know, we, luckily, we know we're just still, we're still stocking the antidotes, which, thank God, because I didn't know you couldn't, you wouldn't be allowed to buy items up here. This is, uh, Maze AF. All right, let's see here. Came in there, we'll go down there, we could go through here, that, all of this connects. Want to go? Okay. Whatever the case is, we're going down. More race. Honestly, this will probably be fine. Oh crap! I meant to double mage on the other one. I messed up. It's fine. Zig and zag up here. Oh, is that petrify? Is that stone? Oh, no. Is this, is this, is this my new fear? Did a new fear just drop? Oh boy. Oh, this, this could be, uh, this could be bad. Probably shouldn't have let this auto, but you know, we're kind of in it now. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What, what is it that, I think I only have one thing that gets rid of... Here's elements except stone and KO. I don't think I have anything that cures stone. Oh, gold needle. Thank God. All right. Okay. We're going to quick save. And if we got to save scum, so be it. That's how RPGs are played. I should really uh, stock up on ether next time there's an item store. Monsters! <laughs> Who could have seen it coming? The power of acupuncture? Didn't think about it that way, but you bring up a good point. Chest contained a tent. Can't use it in here, though. More monsters. Whoa! 
The mage did mage things. Okay, alright. Starting to um, respect... Oh, we got a mithril shield. Shit. Okay, that's probably an upgrade, right? Yeah, buddy. What's everyone at? We're at 2.30. Yeah, this is probably a good time to rip this. Yeah, that's that's solid. That's a solid amount of healing. And then who needs, like, an additional top off? Yee. Monk could use a little love. Honestly, the Black Mage, too. Might as well. All right, cool. Quick save. When we, after we do busy things, we quick save. That's how we, that's how we, that's how we do. Would you guess? Monsters again. Uh, I... I have fear now. Don't really know what the Hyenodons do, because they all seem to die, but it looks like basic ass attacks is what they do. So. I'm trying to target the mage now. We're learning respect for our fellow ogres. The Shrek economy is really on the upturn. Right, that's everything, so we want to just see what the next room has to do. Normally, yes, I do geek the mage first, but the hyenodons look spooky. spell that I can cast on this dude. Which is fine, I guess. Bum, bum, bum. Focusing the, the, the black mage. Okay. There we go. Are going to need to send some love to the black mage, though. White mage getting low. Uh, oh, wait, no. We got this. Here we go. Bam. Done. are big. <laughs> Shit, I was about to say that should do it for him. You're sending loaves to the black mage. Are they Archon loaves? Why would I explore this room? Why would I explore it? There's nothing here. There's no doors. How are we doing on health, by the way? We're doing fine. Like, is there anything of note besides random encounters? Does not appear to be the case. Oh no, we're at a fire. It makes me almost want to flee this. Let's try fleeing this. That's a lot of shit to deal with. Uh, with no fire. We're gonna take some hits and probably get poisoned in the process. Hey, all right. No, don't you dare, my black mage. Thank you. Yeah, see, there's nothing in here. Items. What's my ether status? 
A whopping two. A whopping two. Hmm. I'll drop one in the black page. All right. Out of my way, Bat. Good God. Well, this is our last normie one. We, of course, could switch it up to Diaga, but yeah, it's fine. It's just like there's nothing in here. I mean, this looks suspicious. Like, why is there a big room back there? We feel like it's a boss or something. I, I gotta, I gotta find out. Would you like tarantulas? Could I interest you in some tarantulas? My good, my good friends. Let's see, let's see, we got a bunch of stuff in here. Let's just, for the sake of expediency. Drop an AoE. That's a lot of chances for poison. That should kill them all. Hooray! Is there something? There's nothing here! <laughs> There's nothing here! This whole room. You're attacked by a 1990s Trapper Keeper. How do you respond? You know what, just pulls out again, why not? That should kill that guy. And we'll just bring it home with whoever attacks first, it's the warrior. For the win. Alright. So I want to go up and over and down. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. White Damage Express. Let's go. Probably should have split the warrior. Being lazy. the monk a little love. How are we doing? Yeah, we can rip a cure. There we go. Oh, paralyzed at the gate. That stinks. Behold the God Rays. Bye. Will we make it? Will we? Can we make it to the door? Oh my God, we did it. We made it without a random encounter, at least into the door. Who knows what's in here? Oh, crystal. everybody's health. Black mage, looking a little peckish. So there's our white mage. Let's just do that. Honestly. Could probably rip that on the warrior. And we need a preemptively ether.
I don't think so. What am I what am what am I missing potentially missing out on on the black mage? Because we are down to one on level three spells, which means Fyra and Thundara are off the menu except for a one-time use. But we have Lazara. Elemental damage hasn't been a huge thing here so far. Fyra was nice against those ochres. But we also have Fyraga at level five. I don't think we need to either. Because also on our white mage, yes, level one's done. But we, we still have two Diagas in the chamber if we need them. Yeah. Yeah, and we got plenty of tempers on the Black Mage as a battery for my monk. So I think we're okay. I think we're okay. After I've been bit, I always say after being busy, we've been busy. Hello, random encounter. I don't, I don't like these fights. These fights scare me. I don't like the poison. I'm low on fire AOEs. That's right, got poisoned. All right, now we'll quick save again. Thank you for coming by and watching our uh, Final Fantasy quick save tutorial. I hope you're enjoying everybody. Who speaks to me? Says a mysterious voice. Oh, Kyle would be into this. I am he who feeds on the power of the earth. I will not be disturbed by mortal men. I am the Lich, fiend of earth. Hi, Lich. What's up? Oh, hell yeah, that's a sprite. That's a sprite and a half right there. All right, and then, yep, we're just gonna, and we're gonna temper our buddy, and then we're gonna take our invis and we're gonna throw it on our magic buddy. Nine? Holy crap. Okay, this is not a physical damage fight. This is not a physical damage fight. That's, uh, that's spooky. That's what that is. Um, what's like the biggest thing I've got? Something tells me Scourge ain't gonna cut it here. Uh, okay, we're just gonna... This, this might be, I don't know. I'm gonna try that, and you! Rip it. Actually, I feel like I should probably... And then we rip the Diaga. It's 61. Right, okay. Oh, you. You bastard. One hit. Ah. Oh. Big numbers. Yeah, 213. Okay. All right. Hey, uh, hopefully this kills him. Otherwise, I'm going to definitely think to myself, I should have ethered. Oh, was it enough? That's slower miss. Oh, boy. Oh, we are on. That is a fan effect 262 okay all right actually I think Fyraga did slightly more damage all right just, just let it rip it's just okay I mean at this point <laughs> damage Oh my word. 210, okay. Lich got hands. Is this it? Yes! Woo! Skin of our teeth. 
skin of our teeth there. And our white mage leveled up. L lucky you spam slow so much. Yes, I agree. We were in fact lucky there. 314. Hell yeah, that's some nice, that's some nice health. I find it unlikely this will just slap us into another piece of combat. Please tell me this just, like, gets me the hell out of here. Yes, thank God. <laughs> oh. Praise Jeebus. Praise his name. We're going to, we're just, we're going to take advantage of the tools the game gives us, and we're going to head the hell back to town and lick our wounds. Oh my god. I was about to say, there's probably, there's probably four crystals, right? I think they told us there were four. They, they showed us four. And there's four heroes, so that all makes sense. I'm operating off memory here. They did say four. Man, y'all y'all want me to cottage so bad. I mean, okay, if you really want me to cottage, I mean, we might as well. You know, never let it be said that I don't do what the stream asks of me. So I'm going to cottage right outside of town and assert my dominance. By the way, does town look better now? No, no, it doesn't. This place still looks like shit. <laughs> I did restore the crystal to grace. Why aren't you happy? I, I did. I did. Be happy. <laughs> Place is just a hole. <laughs> the shade. Mir, thanks for the super. Uh, behold, Lich, the fiend of the earth, the beginning of the theme of elemental bosses in Final Fantasy. You could call him Titan's great granddaddy. Oh, shit. I hadn't thought about that. That's a good point. The Michael, thanks for the super, said, if you're having undead problems, I see what you're going on. I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a Lich ain't one. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well played. So what's next? I don't know what's next. Where do I go next? <sighs> Gridania vibes? Yeah, a bit. A bit. Okay, I got some things I could sell. Let's let's clear out the old inventory. Keeping my broadsword. I don't know about all these horribly specific swords I'm now carting around. What's the situation with the Great Helm? Did we already check that out? Yeah, that's right, because we went to a Mithril Helm. Yeah, the Great Helm was like way, 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 way a downgrade. All right. God, we... The gill, gill went up. I've checked quite a few item descriptions. Many. Many item descriptions have been checked this day. So I feel like the entire western chunk is is good now. I guess we can get out now. I'm going to go see what the dancer says to me. Because the dancer... The dancer gives good tips.
Is the dancer your affiliate? Yeah, pray return. Pray return to the dancer for an in-game tip. Dancer, I need you. What's up? I don't know what else to tell you. How about we have that dance? Wait, what? Oh, she's out of tips? She's out of tips? Well, shite. It could be worse. It could be pray return to the Mars cave. No, I like coming back here. It's all good. That's no good. Out of tips. So what, what, what the frick am I doing now? I don't know what to do with the loot. Like, where's the key item? Like, uh... What, I don't know what to do with the loot. I guess we still have a crown. I don't think we, we need it anymore. What do we do with the earth rod? Oh, no, we already used that. That's how we got to the lich. We just, I think we just go exploring. Which, by exploring, I mean we go here and we buy a shit ton of potions and ether. Right, how many do I have right now? It doesn't tell me. Oh, wait. I have, I have eight. Okay, so let's go to 28. Wait, what? Math is hard. Let's go with 40. Ether, we want a bunch of you. Done. Have 40 ethers. Antidotes, getting a bit low. Just in case, never know. High potions for battle would be nice. Let's, uh, we have what in stock? Uh, none. Let's get like 10. I mean, how much would it be to cap out on potions? That's it? Okay. 99 potions, done. How much would it be to cap out ether? That's it? Alright, done. Uh, golden needles seem important. We keep enough on hand to unstonify the whole party. All right. Other than that, remedy cures ailments. Accept that. Accept the important shit. Yeah, we got tents. We got we got sleeping bags. We got gizmos and what's its galore. Yeah, we'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. A few more phoenix downs. Yeah, what, what? How many do we have? One. One. Okay. Yeah. Let's get a few more phoenix downs. You're right. You're right. Let's get a few more things down. No clues, only loot. Again, enough for the whole party. All right. All right, what the shit are we doing? Besides turning encounters off, because we're not grinding right now. All right, so the only way to break out of the peninsula is to the west. Nope. 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 There we go. And then down. Man, you just you just motor. Freaking motor in this boat. Is the world Oh, that's a good question. What happens if we go to the edge? Oh, shit! Uh, clever tip. Clever tip. 10 out of 10 stars. All right, so we could go here. Flat Earth denied. Yeah, I'm just, uh... Here we go. Nope. Here we go. Nope. All right, I'm just scouting out. We're all... We go here. Nope. Nope. No burrito. Okay. And then we're back to. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So we're back in uh, Elfheim. That's cute. Didn't mean to go back to Elfheim twice. Planet is a donut confirmed. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I mean. Might as well finish off the bottom of the map, I guess. I, I I would imagine there's 
levels to be considered, but the game obscures the levels of the enemies you're fighting, so I don't really know. But, uh, let's find out. I know you. Let's hit him with the old confuse. The hits just keep on coming. Oh, it only hit one of them. Damn. Proto Behemoth. No, we're in Copperbell Mines fighting Minotaur. Don't you want to go back to Copperbell Mines? The greatest dungeon in all of Final Fantasy XIV? Yeah, I don't think there's any, any path of that away. This appears to be. Oh, jeez. Ooh, gross. Centipedes really gross me out. You do yearn for those mines. Okay. Hey. To each their own. It should do it. Nice. Ugh, those things are gross. I do not like them. Centipedes really creep me out. Definitely uh, triggers a phobia. We found a town. We're getting attacked just outside. Oh, scorpions are back. You bastards. town but no no castle okay hey, they've got an item shop so that's well this is like this town's adorable it's a gravestone it's a gravestone he's sleeping by a gravestone you don't look like you're sleeping you're like running in place husband is always traveling and in a little time he is home he sleeps all day I think he needs to get his priorities straight is that your husband is that, is that your husband sleeping by a gravestone like a weirdo it's a gravestone. It's a gravestone. It's a little gravestone. Okay. It's a gravestone. Are you stoning, son? So that's going to be items. Let's see. Welcome. You've got Mithril Mail. Mithril Shield. Mithril Mail down. Buckler down. Uh, mithril Gloves is an upgrade. Dave, Dave's not here, man. What am I wearing for gloves? Oh, steel. Yeah, okay, so Mithril would be an upgrade. All right, let's get, to, let's get them gloves. Oh, I should have used the equip command. Oh, whoopsa. Don't need anything else out of the out of the armor store. What about weapons? Let's take a look. It's in a book, reading rainbow. Got that. They're saying it's an upgrade, but is it actually twenty three fifteen? Ain't bad. It's not a massive leap though. Twenty five ten, twenty three fifteen. That's for sword over axe, definitely. We have a gravestone emo yet. <laughs> Oh shit, I should make I should make one that's a sprite from Final Fantasy. I should do that for the next stream. That'd be great. Alright, what you got? Oh shit! 13,000 to cure stone. I guess grinding gill is back on the menu. Exit. You can just exit dungeons. Damn. Damn, that seems nice. Need a sprite tune. Oh, a sprite tuna would be nice, yeah. 
do the warrior and the white mage sprites, but vaguely make them look like Valentuna from 14. Like, make the white mage look like a dusk white and, and make the warrior, like, give him blue hair. Maybe make the armor look dark instead of red. I feel like Kyle wears a lot of white in game, especially because of the, the, uh, the sweater of light. Raises the party's defense, raises the party. These all seem great. Shit. I mean, this seems like borderline required. Because being caught out and not being able to do shit about stone would suck. I definitely want exit. I think I'm, I think I'm getting exit first. Oh, can't learn. Ah, oh, shit. So it's just like the other thing. So I, I needed a red mage for this. Rip. All right. So this then, there's no decisions to be made. Ripperino. Man. Man. Okay, well, because, uh, let, let's, let's let fear guide us. I'm going to get Stona. Welcome to the tease vendors. Gonna start with that because they're horribly expensive. Let's see what we could buy for Black Mage. Thundaga deals lightning damage to all enemies. Makes sense. Death instantly kills one enemy. I don't trust you. Calls an earthquake to swallow. What? That seems cool. Quake seems cool. Do I want Quake? Quake looks like bait, but it looks so cool. All right, uh, Chad, is Quake good? Is, 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 is Quake is Quake considered? Does anyone here consider Quake good? Quake and Pink, man, never used it. No, ah, what a shame! All the cool stuff isn't isn't that great. Stun seems okay. Just having a higher damage AOE also seems seems good. I I, I do fancy myself a power player. Definitely gonna start. I'd like. I know I'm gonna get. I know I'm gonna get value out of that. Death seems sus. Quake seems sus. Single target paralyzed seems all right. I don't. I wish they gave you more info about like what its chance to hit is and, and, and stuff like that. I I I I'm progressing. I'm progressing. So I'm progressing. Uh, Doss. I'm, I'm, I don't know about winning, but I'm progressing. Don't buy death game gets too easy. Really? That means it hits. That means it hits. Hmm. My brain can only hold so much information at one time. So exit. No one can learn it. Raise the defense, raise the evasion. That seems dope. I do like invis, so being able to do it for the whole party also seems pretty nice. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. this is what we're gonna start with. It's a gravestone. It's a gravestone. It's a gravestone. It's a gravestone. Hey, we got a functional church again. Hell yeah. And then we've got an in. Are you charging highway robbery? 200 gil per night, they say. And granted, I am rolling a gil, so I kind of get it. It's time to go and explore. Uh, 
Alexa. It wasn't really anyone to talk to here. It's pretty much these two, and that's 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 it. Okay. This is, uh, it's hard to know where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Oh, God. So I try that, uh, the new Thundaga on for size. And then, just for the hell of it, see what it's all about. Centipedes are hardy. Of course you get that off last, you bastard. Well, giving Invis to the whole party is pretty sick. Just taking a look around. Like, I'd like to be able to zoom in. Because I can't really tell what the hell's happening on the map. At least on the overworld map. This appears to all just be boxed in. Okay. That's all cut off by river. Can you skirt this? Nope. No, you can't. Okay. And there was no other docks. So, like, is any of this anything? See, the only other dock is Elfheim. And all this gets bisected by rivers. So you can't walk there from Elfheim. So that's the Elfheim dock. I missed something in that town? What did I miss? There were two people to talk to. And a church. Go back to the town. Okay, all right. I trust you, Yanina. You've, you've, you've yet to lead me astray. Oh, what is this shit? Okay. Okay. I see what you're saying. Let's turn off running so that we don't accidentally... How is that? That's a wall and not a walkway. That is my brain. What the frick? <laughs> what the hell butts? Twelve sages are we. Guided to this land by the stars and prophecies. By the twelve. Let's do our little mage dance. I am Lucan. Oh, shit! Okay. I see a cycle of wrath, a dim light, guided by destiny, about which our entire future revolves. Is that all you got? I gotta talk to every single one of you mofos. Well done, warriors of light. You have defeated the fiend of the earth and restored the crystal's light. Sadly, there has drawn, this has drawn the notice of the fiend of fire, who is not to have stirred for another 200 years. Take this canoe and go face the fiend in Mount Gog. Hey, I know that place. I understood that reference. You obtained a canoe. Thanks for the free boat. Volcano Mount Gog rises to the west of town. The fiend of fire long slept within its passages, but he has awoken two hundred years before her time. Vanquisher, before the world is consumed in flame, bring the light of the four crystals to us. Okay? When all four crystals, yep, yeah, no, yeah, I get it, you like the crystals. 
Uh, were the fiend of fire passes, all is engulfed in flame. The fiend of earth rots the land. Four fiends plot to rule the moon. That's the fiend of wind appeared 400 years ago. Garuda? All 200 years later by the fiend of water. Together they laid waste. Huh. Defeat the fiends that have taken root here and lift, the, the, lift up the crystal you carry to the altar. Dip. Fire, earth, water, and wind. Long ago, the avatar disappeared. The light that once shone within them is now lost. The four fiends of chaos block the power of the crystals, claiming it as their own. Okay, all right. So we got a canoe. What's the direction? You, 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 you. Oh, God. I didn't pay attention. Mount Gold rises to the west. Okay. West. Making notes. Go west from, what was this town called? Doesn't tell you on the map here. I gotta zone in and zone out. Sounds called Crescent Lake. Delightful. <laughs> I'm glad that you can do that, Fast Turtle. Thank you for believing in me. So, how do you can you? Oh, you just what? So you just. All right, well, let's see what monsters are in the freaking river, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. You cannot. Oh, there's like a little dude in the boat. Oh, that's cool. Oh, hey, it's White Croc. The Crocs have the correct length tails in this game, unlike Final Fantasy XIV, where they have weird, stumpy little tails. Should I fear Crocs? I apparently should fear Crocs. That is that apparently that Croc has a shit ton of health and hits like a truck. Holy shit! Are we in Florida now? I, I, there's no mountains in Florida, so no, no, we're not. We're in some uh, piranha. Sure glad I bought Fundaga. Are y'all dead? Yeah, you're all dead. Fundaga slaps. Now we got to level, level up on our black mage. I see a place I can make landfall. Hey, you look like a volcano. You look like a bunch of dicks. Yeah. I wasn't talking about y'all. I was talking about the, the scorpions. Oh, you just, you just go in. I have like one frost spell. Like one frost spell. Oh wait, how do you? Oh, oh, are you kidding me? You just gotta run through the lava. Oh my god. Is 
There's no, uh, there's, there's no, like, Link, you must get the red tunic. You're, you're just, you're just, you must burn. You must burn over the lava. These are walls. Okay. So lava is technically a path. You just gotta, you just gotta go for it. So. How much does it hurt? Is it like one tick per step? And you can wait. Yeah, it's one tick per step. Okay. Bunch of great ooze, okay. Mir, thanks for the super. Yeah, uh yeah, I'm I'm not mad about filling in some giant reference gaps in my Final Fantasy 14 lexicon. Down they go. Yeah, we gotta find innocence. Gotta have our oh no he's hot Vothry moment. What is happening in this strange-ass hallway? Huh. Oh. Dear God. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Ah. Uh. It, it is a maze. I mean, the, the, with a map, it's not that hard, but oh, this is just going to be random and kind of hell. Do you see the room of chests? Oh my, there's going to, it's going to be so many random encounters to get to that room. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, oh, I really wish, I really wish I had a red mage so I could have escape right now. Oh my word. How was the far left reachable? I mean, you just, you just take the damage because you can walk on lava. You take the damage. Yeah, so you got to do this whole thing to get to that room of chest. Then you got to backtrack out this door and then you walk all the way down to the far left. If it's any comfort, red mages can't escape. So who, who can escape? It also could be no... I know, I know. But that's like to me, that's part of the... That's part of the charm of the game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well. I, I think... I think uh, I think we pause at Mount Golg. So we've got one crystal. We need to have a think here. We've got one crystal. We know there's three more. And gamer logic would dictate that there's one more major dungeon after all four crystals are are done. So we probably need to do a stream tomorrow probably need to do a stream tomorrow. I need to figure out what time. So I do have a meeting, so it might be a little later tomorrow. Let me plan live on air. For 1.30 tomorrow. So I can go live at 2. Okay. Alright. And then I could just carve out some extra time past. Okay. Yeah. We'll start the stream at 2 tomorrow. We'll start stream at two tomorrow. And I'm th I'm thinking. Alright, my thought right now is it, I think for Thursday it would be rad to have one one dungeon left and then whatever comes after that well, one dungeon. So if we could do two crystals tomorrow and leave one crystal and whatever the mystery is for Thursday night, that that would be a, a sizable chunk for a finale now having a proper like feeling for how long this takes to to get through 
that sound about right on on y'all's? You think you think leaving one crystal for Thursday night and whatever mystery finale comes after? I'm roughly halfway through. Okay. Yeah, so a stream tomorrow and a stream Thursday would pretty much get me there. And if we go a little late on Thursday, then so be it. Okay. Okay. Okay, if there's some like if there's like some secrets in bonus dungeons, that could that could be a, a future stream. We don't need to knock that all out in the finale. Um, okay, cool. So I will definitely do a stream tomorrow. It'll be at 2 p.m. Eastern, so it'll be an hour later than today because I have uh, I have a meeting at 1.30. Um, so we'll go live at 2. We'll, I'll see you back here tomorrow. And then we'll do we'll plan on the finale Thursday night. Sound good? And for folks asking about Kyle, Kyle's coming back next week. You should see him Monday on the Grinding Gear podcast. Uh, so, yeah. This is your final week of Solo Garrett. Let me, uh, I think I already saved, but let me just do it again. Just to be extra, extra sure. Oh, I need to leave the damn dungeon. Yeah, let's just leave the damn dungeon. Just gonna burn through the fucking lava. Yeah. I'm going to see Kyle this weekend. We're having a friendly get together, but uh, but y'all see him on Monday. <sighs> well, thank you all so much for coming by. We'll be back tomorrow with part three of four, I guess, for my Final Fantasy One playthrough. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. It's gonna be a good time. Looking forward to it. I'm having a blast. Uh, but I I don't want to miss out on walking the dogs today, and uh, I do need to get a run in because I haven't jogged uh, in like a week. We've been we've been lackadaisical. We just like walk the dogs, and I'm like, it's fine. I don't need to jog. I need to get some cardio in. I really need to I need to work. I need to freaking freaking move these 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 lanky ass limbs. So um, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go exercise. And uh, what's my level? What am I at? What's everyone at? What's my highest level? Twenty three. Level twenty three. Level twenty three. So I'm gonna go uh, walk the dogs and then go for a jog. And I'll see y'all tomorrow at 2 p.m. Going an hour, starting an hour later tomorrow. Tell your friends. Share. Uh, actually, you know, I don't say this a lot. Uh, I mean it legitimately. You think a friend would enjoy this? Share this with a friend. Let them know about Grinding Gear. And, uh, you know, all the usual stuff. Check out supportourbromance.com if you want to support us. That's our Patreon. It'll take you straight there. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much, everybody. See you tomorrow. GG.